Okay. All right, I'm going to pull in Radical Left after Heemed, because Heemed's only got five minutes. Heemed, hey, Dr. Heemed, hey, hey. it evening. is good to see you. Give me one second here to fix this real quick. I can't hear you. Oh. Okay, that should fix it. Yep. Hey, Sorry about that. I, I forgot <laughs> to switch it off as usual. I always forget this. Yeah, I know. I always fuck Dr. it up. Dr. Heem, Heemed out. He him, hey. right? Yeah, yeah. Didn't mean to assume there. Here we go. All oh, right. Okay. I was the same. That All was right. fun, huh? Yeah, that was fun as fuck. That was really. And that I was think really it was fun. productive too. Yeah, I I was a little worried about the productivity in the second in the second one, but hey, the final conversation went way better um, yeah. than I thought it was gonna. Yeah. It was fun. I like I like uh, I like talking with people I disagree with. I think like most importantly is just being cordial and fair to people. And, like I think sometimes that's lost. And like even on this vaccine issue, I know that we don't agree, but I know that you're coming from a good place, and I try to come from a good place always. I know so, you're coming from a good place too, although yeah. I can't help but feel you were getting a little out ahead of yourself there. But anyways, whatever. You don't, good. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to go into the vaccine uh, thing. Yeah, I know. I just I wanted know. to call and say uh, it was fun. Well, we're and gonna I, watch I'm, your stuff in just a few minutes. We're gonna. I'm. I'm hyped. I've been hyping people up to watch your uh, incel debate. Oh uh, yeah, it it is hype. Uh, I, but I will preface it by saying I maybe should have done a little bit more research on the guy. I just went through his incel thread. Okay. I didn't actually dig deep into finding out like what his politics were. I thought his like main thing was just being an incel. Yeah. And later on, I found out that like a lot of his community basically is like a Nazi. Like even during the conversation, at one point he's like, "All I'm like." He was saying he was saying how he hates immigration and i'm like okay well immigration is like widely supported by all the world's economists and he's like yeah but they're all jews i'm like whoa oh jesus yeah yeah, yeah. wait what's so, this guy's like, name this guy was on twitter did you not see his thread yeah i saw his thread that? i just can't remember his name yeah so i didn't actually put his name anywhere in the video i didn't link his stuff because i don't want to promote idea. his platform all right then that's fine we'll, yeah. we'll keep you it at don't, that don't worry about it yeah he's yeah, just yeah. a fucking idiot nazi yeah uh, okay yeah yeah so one thing that i will say is that if it comes off as though like maybe i'm being too soft on him it's because mm -hmm. i thought i was having a conversation with like a genuine incel who like you know yeah came on for just an incel discussion no, i didn't fine. realize till after that like he was fucked well, and, that, and then then I, I didn't expect that he would like tweet his community and be like everyone go comment and dislike the video i'm like bro is this what i get because you'll see in the video i'm extremely nice extremely good faith i i give him the benefit on the doubt on shit and yeah. yet he still tells his community to go and dislike my video and shit. I'm like, okay, bro, that's what I get for fucking giving you the benefit of the doubt. I well, I mean, on the plus side, you did one of the good th one of the good parts of the uh, online debatosphere, which is um, which is you know, uh, being able to expose people. Yeah, like yeah. If, if people who have their mask on, if they have a conversation and they they uh, expose themselves on video then you can show that video and ensure that they don't get a platform elsewhere. Because I would say that somebody who's, uh, you know, using incel talking points to proliferate Nazi ideology is basically the the poster child of the type of person that we want to deplatform. We don't want to give that person the ability to sneak in with uh, with relatable incel memes and then yeah. rope people into Nazism. That's that's what 100%. I call. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you'll see at one point, I'm, I'm spoilers, okay? Spoilers mm -hmm. for chat. At one point, the dude straight up says that it's more, it's better off that we end human civilization, like all men stop having sex with all women, rather than s liberate women's sexualization. Jesus and I'm Christ! Like, like that is an insane fucking level. And then what's crazy is 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 in my in the comments you'll see people are like, this guy blew it out of the water. This guy, this insult. Oh, they He's always like, do that though. Like because you have to remember that like if you're if you're to the point where you're like a fan of a Nazi, like you're like engaging, like you're gone. You're, you're yeah, so, so far sad. gone. It's yeah, it so is sad. sad. I mean, this is, this is one of the things I, I talk about frequently. And I, and I know you, I think you said you, you watched at least some of my spiritual deconstruction. I touch on it in that, that like a lot of the work that the online left and, and other people who care about this type of stuff have in front of them is not so much just like de-radicalizing people who are in there, but preventing people from ever getting in there in the first place. Because once people are in, it is 
they will they will go in and they'll be like that guy yeah well he got blown out of the water and it's like what do you mean it's like well he said he 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 red pilled the audience by saying that yeah. the jews are behind it all and then they believe that that's true they believe that they, the guy did a good job by just showing up and screaming the n-word or whatever that to them that's what they they get to a point where they believe that's a good job it's so it's literally brain poison it's yeah, actually it like i know i know we meme about conservatism being brain poison this is next level shit i, I this was the first time in my life i ever interacted with an incel uh -huh. um i've been looking forward to having a conversation with like an honest like incel who's like proud of it yeah and i was blown away by just how poisoned their mind really is it's yeah. not like this guy he didn't even say that someone had hurt him it's not like he had a, a girl turned him down or a girl cheated on him or anything like that he said he it was just fuck yeah yeah it's really bad i mean the thing is this is the big concern i have i understand why people are are sort of um you know i don't want to say take pity that sounds really sympathetic like really really condescending but you you i think you get what i'm saying like people are are like they feel bad for the incel community but people don't realize that the incel community is like it's like a it is like a concentrated pipe that's designed to get people to go further right. It is full of yeah. horrific, hateful people. They treat each other like shit. And then that and then there's a whole bunch of people who've infiltrated that community who are just ready to pull you into the to the yeah. oh now you're 13, 15. Oh now you're into Jews. And and guess the what? Incel, the incel them is like a cloak. Yeah. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, it absolutely yeah. is. I mean, there's a lot of ways that this happens, right? Like, um, like, I mean, you could even argue that like a lot of um a lot of like the the downfall of 4chan um was because of that right like nazis identified that and i mean like cynically identified you can literally there's like articles that have been written about this on stormfront about how they they de deliberately went to um 4chan to find directionless possibly mentally ill lonely hurting young people that they could easily mm. convince of their ideologies yeah because so... once you sell them on the first thing then the rest becomes the the domino effect. Well, yeah, and the and once you get your foot in the door, then they start. Then there's you start replacing their social group by convincing them that everyone else is just asleep. They're not woke. They're not, you know, they're not they they're not they're just sheep. You know. Yeah, um, yeah. And I, I do yeah. think it's worth engaging with them though, because like there's got to be at least one or two fucking young kids in his community that isn't fully on board. Maybe they're they just started following him, or maybe they're just dabbling in it. Mm -hmm. and, and those are the people that I think I hope that at least I can get one person that's like, listen, I, I would listen to your discussion with this kid, and you you raised a lot of good points. Like yeah. I, I think the, those that to me would be a fucking massive win. Yeah, I mean the thing is, like I I think there is um I I think there are um risks, and and I do generally, but like by the way, like I tend to have a weird position in that. Like, uh, I, I don't mean to sound like I'm like, oh, the enlightened centrist, but I tend to land somewhere between the like super debate, like just debate anybody like it's, it's the, the, the free market of ideas and the deep platform. Anybody who sniffs of a Nazi, mm -hmm. like I, I do think there's a middle ground there, although I do think there's concerns. Like, I mean, again, a lot of my approach to, to like political debate and stuff comes from, uh, you know, growing up in a cult and then re recognize and having to learn um the how to unlearn well yeah but i mean also how to like how to learn what to spot what it was that was like utilized in certain ways and one of the things that religious people will do a lot is that they will try and get themselves in front of any audience even if they know it's going to be a losing a losing fight because they're mm. not appealing to logic they're looking they're uh, and i i've used this many times um and in fact i can even borrow a bible verse are you familiar with the concept of being a fisher of men have you ever heard of that term? I'm not. No, okay. I'm, I haven't. Yeah, so this is a um this is a a a biblical term um that uh it's that says like I you know I will train you up to be fishers of men and it means that you're going to go out and you're going to find the people who are who who can be brought to God and like that is how they operate. They go in front of a crowd. They in fact it might even be better for them if they get humiliated because they they will take that as like a masochistic like i'm I'm, I'm enduring this this mm. laughter and punishment in the name of god and their mm. goal is to just find one or two or three people who happen to be milling about somewhere in that audience who are vulnerable to their rhetoric who might be yeah. maybe they have preconceived notions maybe they're hurting maybe they're maybe they're like they just went just through, went through a breakup yeah yeah. yeah, and then and then all of a sudden you have this person up there saying, 
you know, maybe their arguments all suck, but at one point they say, you know, the problem with the modern world and the problem with the secular world, the world of man, is that there's no purpose. You just live and you die and you become dirt. With God, you have purpose. And 90% of the people in the audience are just going to go, okay, yeah, sure, nice thing, charlatan. But one person in the audience might go, oh, well, you're right, I don't have purpose. What's this all about? It's very... It's very manipulative, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's tough because, like, you saw. I guess before, I do want to talk about the Mel debate too before before yeah, I go, yeah. so we can maybe transition into what you thought about that. But yeah, absolutely. With the Mel debate, my success with that, like that video for me, I I was a nobody YouTuber. Right? I I had a hundred subscribers on YouTube. I debated Mel, and now I'm at like one point five thousand. I got partnered. Oh and, damn! Like, the video got sixteen thousand views. Yeah, like it it, it popped off. Hell and yeah. like the the comment that I got the most, even from tankies that are Mel supporters, uh -huh. were like, "You were so fair and charitable to Mel you in were. this discussion." You were. Yeah, you were. That like, and I feel like maybe there's some room for that kind of content. But then after this conversation I had with this incel, it's like maybe I got to dunk on them a little harder. I I don't know what the I like to be ultra fair with people, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I guess I I think there's I think. It, it has to be – I don't think there's a, a single rule. I think you have to be careful with it and do a calculation each time because mm -hmm. I do think that I, – I think your your conversation with Mel was, was phenomenal. I really liked it. I, like, was sitting there and, like, I, I saw it pop up. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give this a listen. Um, number of reasons. I have a personal history with Mel. Um, you know, I'm not familiar also, with that. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. You don't have to get into whatever. Yeah, it's, or it's, you it's, can if you want. We used to be friends, and uh, she became increasingly toxic and okay. started engaging in rhetoric that I was really not comfortable with. And uh, yeah, and so eventually we had a falling out, and um, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. So, uh, but but yeah, it was like I'll check out this, and of course I was familiar with your work, having been on a panel with you a couple times. Really liked you in the past, and I just thought you did a really good job. And um, I did a I did a critique of Vosh's approach with Mel. Um, not because I think Vosh did like a really bad job, but just because I thought there was room for improvement and that it would be interesting to go over. And, uh, I intended to do one of yours, but it just stuff kept happening. So maybe yeah. we'll get, maybe I'll do it at some point, but, um, you know, from now that you're here, like I can tell you, I think that you did a really good job at, um, sort of calling Mel's bluff on a lot of things, which is that like Mel is very sneaky and i would say that she's more sneaky than like the person that you were talking about today like this incel type person who you know the mm -hmm. mask came off pretty quick mel constantly deletes things that she said online she denies that she ever said them um she also she... has comes she also comes packed with facts random obscure facts yep and then she'll, that she'll, she'll like that have no connection yep sprint off with a bunch of like weird historical facts that sometimes aren't even accurate i found out um and, uh, and, you know, I think that the way that you approach it, which was very methodolog methodological and slow and gave her like a lot of space and, but was organized, worked very well for the type of person that Mel is and the way that she approaches, um, in my opinion, a very dishonest, uh, political, um, approach. Um, I guess the, yeah. the thing is like, I knew Mel was like that from the beginning of the conversation, yet I continued to persist with the gentle approach, mm -hmm. which I think is what people really like. And then I guess I am interested to see what you think of after this conversation. I'm going to yeah. watch back because I, I, in retrospect, I, and I think I went harder on this guy than I did with Mel, mm -hmm. but in retrospect, I wonder if you, I, I'm curious to see your, yeah, your I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to watching it with everybody. Um, and yeah, I'll give you, I'll be sure to share my thoughts with you. Um, because, uh, I think I do agree that it's not it's not clear cut. It's very hard sometimes. Like I mean, mm -hmm. a great example. Like Vosh has even talked about this. Vosh's conversation with um, with uh, what's his face, Count Ankula, which he always says like he did he didn't think he did a, a very good job there because it was all like it was all, it was so much memes and like at the end Count Ankula did like literally read out the fourteen words like as a meme and it's like the approach there just didn't work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah. it is possible for you to be very good at um, generally exposing and dunking on or doing whatever. And once in a while, somebody's style is just enough different that it requires a different approach. And I think that mm. your approach worked very well for Mel. I'm very interested to see how it goes with this incel. Um, and yeah. So um, amazing. Yeah.
Well, okay. I mean, regardless of regardless of our of our mutual or our, our respective feelings on uh, on Bill Gates, I respect you greatly as a content creator, and I'm very happy to see you making more content. Um, so thank, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm 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 it's it's I have a weird time slot. And, you do. Uh, uh but but again like because it's all i have right now i have to stay consistent i know consistency is most important and um yeah 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 but consistency anyways, can come listen. but consistency comes in many forms and and just because you have a weird time slot doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad one there's probably mm -hmm. a lot of people who that time slot will work for i didn't mm -hmm. know when i started streaming that i would have like a that i would build like a cult like i will cultivate a, pe a group of people that will um that would like eight hour streams. But as it turns mm -hmm. out, there's a fuckload of people who work afternoon and evening shifts who love listening to my show while they're at work. And that is right. like, if you, it's one of those, if you build it, they will come sort of situation. So don't let that yeah, get to exactly. you. Yeah. No, for sure. I've been grinding. Hey, and by the way, I forgot you were in my chat the other day when I, I was, was, when I did the black and white. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were, you were off by about 30 years with the with you were doing like a 20s or 30s gangster but i loved it anyway so i don't even care for if anyone who's a little wrong for anyone who doesn't know basically this incel one of the memes he posted was uh like this mom like this most wholesome picture ever insta mom with her three boys yeah. and a caption that said when i grow up i'm gonna make sure my boys treat women better than the boys that whatever but that i grew up with there's something very fucking basic nothing crazy or controversial and this was one of the memes that he posted as to why he hates women and then i, I was memeing like yeah shay like i want to <laughs> grab some ass and then someone was like you need to make it black and white so i quickly just made it black and white put on the swing music that shit was fun yeah i was up at like i was up at like fuck i don't even remember what time it was i was up all night it was like five o'clock and like i see your stream and i'm like i'm gonna go in and i i pop in and i hear i see you going over this meme and you're like yeah i'm just gonna grab some ass she yeah exactly <laughs> yeah i gotta i gotta put i gotta smoke some cigarettes and, and and catch some broads it was yeah, so I fucking know. good <laughs> hey listen much love i can't wait Likewise. to see your debate review and i wish you all the luck and have a wonderful evening thanks, thanks for, for coming on. get some rest all see right. you take care bye, -bye. bye. Yeah, Dr. Heem is, uh, is really super cool, everybody. Um, you should check out Dr. Heem's stuff. We're going to watch one of his videos shortly. So stick around, and you're going to get to see a epic Heem debate that we're going to review and talk about. Um, it's with, like, this wild incel Nazi. And I heard so many good things. I I asked Heem. I was like, Heem, can I cover that? And yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Let's do it. And what about when they go try to get careers or try to have a family? That's the most evil thing of all. Women getting careers. Don't get me started, bro. Jesus women Christ, should not have bro. Careers. If, if How I about had you? Like that you? I would say, what about me? What, are you like a virtuous cr Christian? Yeah, I think I am now, now that I become Catholic. But what about hating? Oh, it would be great to debate a sovereign citizen. Oof. Well, that was loud. You think that I will. ending the season? Yeah, I'll do that again. Is preferable to making women. Here, give me the link and I'll save liberated. it this time, Posadas. Yes, a hundred percent. Yes, women's sexual liberation has been the biggest human disaster of all time. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that part's based. I don't think women should read or work. You're kidding. No, I've read, I've read, times. read. Yeah, women, women should not be allowed to read. Anybody who says they're a Catholic online, I just assume they're a Nazi. <laughs> you're not wrong. Okay, listen, you're not wrong for that. All right. Thank you very much. I'll we'll do that after this. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Oh, women shouldn't read. Too late. I can already read. I can read. I had to be able to read to be able to see this. Let's continue. Nothing good can ever come from that, dude. I don't believe in genes, though. I just believe in sperm and egg. I don't think. What is in the sperm genes. and egg? What is in what is a sperm and egg? Does it obviously life, life obvi juice? Okay, life juice, sure. But obviously, the sperm and the egg carry some Life sort of juice. information that is representative See, of I the disagree. parent I, I don't i don't think they have the information i think it's just it's just how nature works i think the, the life juice from the egg just just makes the baby that's gotta be this guy's gotta be a troll this is so hard look at that intro dr heemed has such a badass intro big props by the way by the way real quick Here's what we're going to do, okay, everybody? All right, I'm sharing you the link. As you can see, this has been disliked bombed
by Nazis, okay? And a fuckload of haters in comment. So after this, after we watch this, if you like this, I would like you to go and leave a nice, t uh, a nice like and a compliment, a nice comment. You don't even have to compliment. If you disagree with Heemed, respectfully comment, okay? Seriously, okay? Yeah, my intro is pretty badass. It is it is very badass. That's Gay Fesh's music and Ace Lace um Ace Lace's um uh uh animation. Yeah, my intro is fucking based. I love it. And then it's me. I'm I'm the one who was drawn because you know, I do the thing. I do the <laughs> I do this. I do this in the camera and you, you see me going like, "Woo, yeah." Ah, demon mama, woo. Okay. All right. Real quick. Wait, I need a I need a sodi. Hold on. Is is Fawn! Fawn, are you still watching? I want a Zodi! Fawn, I want a Zodi! Last time I talked about nice comments, it IE a? It IE a? It IE a? It IE a what? It IE a what? Anyway, I'm begging, I'm begging. Okay. I'll go get one myself, but I don't want to leave the stream. I, I don't want anybody to get Twitter. bored. What was it? Three, four days ago? And I come across this thread called Why I Hate Women, something like that. And instantly I was interested. Oh, and boy, here we go. I went through it. Hey, thank now, you, Famous I didn't even Horse. Go Appreciate the whole it. Thing. I went through like one or two of the posts. And then I was like, no, nah, I need to look. I'm it. typing KN a phone right now. KN. You're killing a phone? Oh, no. Get this on stream. And then we went over it on stream. And I had some questions. I reached out to you to ask if you wanted thank to come you, on stream. Thank you, famous horse. Appreciate that. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, all so, of the horses. Yeah, yeah. Thank horse you for riders. having me. Whatever man. you are. I know this is come on in. Uh, a little bit past your later time, so I appreciate you making the accommodation for me. Hey, no problem. Okay. Um. So, tell me a little bit about yourself, I guess. Uh, how old are you, first of all? Uh, I am 23. Okay. I just I turned 23 a little bit ago. Yeah. Okay. And um, I guess why don't you tell me a little bit about how you? Oh no, I'm biting my nails. Oh shit! At your worldview. Uh, you know that's that's wow. That really gets to the root of it, huh? <laughs> well, I I guess how I arrived here is I just thought too much and I interacted with enough women that you can kind of <laughs> just start to put the patterns together and you can kind of just figure out what's going on here. I did too much thinking. I thought too hard and I became an incel. When you think your brain got so big it caved inwards. Hey, thank you. I love you. Uh, say hi to the stream. Hi. Hello. They got it here. They got to be able to hear you. Just say it. No, no, no. No, I don't want to okay, I love you. I love you. Thank you. That was gynotype. Hi, Yoda. That was gynotype. Thank you. You got to get me to 100K before gynotype does a face reveal. Uh, I, if you think about society in general, I mean, this is just where you have Yoda to left already. if you truly think about things the way they are, in my opinion. How so? Uh, like, how do I explain? Like, the, I think. Okay, tell me about, tell me about some of, thread. oh, tell me about some of the experiences you've had with women, I guess, that have gotten you to this position. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, dude. Uh, like so much. So like, uh. Probably the one I'm I sorry, I didn't mean to be mean, to Gynotype. I didn't put you on camera. About... I didn't put you on camera, Gynotype. The camera's fixed. It was it's I didn't put you on camera, don't worry. Oh, you forgive me? Okay. Well, I beg forgiveness. I beg forgiveness. I beg forgiveness. I I'm glad that you forgive me. I, I will I'll make it up to you somehow. Oh God! See, time is really hard right now because of Corona. I forget how long things okay. have been. Okay, wait, wait. Before you get into that, like before, sorry. Before you get into that, sorry. I have so many questions. We're gonna jump around a little bit because I'm intrigued as fuck. If you had to rate okay. yourself on a scale of one to ten in terms of looks, how would you rate yourself? I'm like a solid eight. Oh, okay. I'm hot can you, as fuck, dude. Can you, can you send me a picture of yourself? Or, or... <laughs> come on, this guy's gotta be a joke. Like I'm not gonna show I, I it on, on my Twitter a lot. Uh, Yay! Yeah, I have so, my my face blurred out. I don't know. So we're don't gonna mind. find out, I guess. Show it, but solid eight out of a thousand. Oh come on! <laughs> yeah, I, I can just DM a you solid point okay, eight. Yeah, DM it to me right now on Discord. Oh, or on Discord or, or on Twitter, Twitter, whatever. It doesn't matter. I just want I'm I just want to see. I'm not gonna show it. I just want to see what we're dealing with here. 
I would say I'm like a solid eight. Listen, I I I put myself I put myself at a six point five on a good day, and a fucking two on a bad day. <sighs> I'm a scary monster. But if we were going on the monster scale, then I'm a ten out of ten, baby. If you're into monsters, oh, then you're there. You go, you monster fuckers. You found me. You found me. There you go. I'm a ten. I'm a ten on the monster scale. Uh, on the monster scale from from one, which is not a monster at all, like, I don't know what that would be, to a 10 being like a Brea Toss, I'm like right up there with the Brea Toss. You know it. You know it. You know it. You know, I'll say probably eight instead of nine just because I'm a little on the shorter side, but, but I mean, oh, I'm, you're I'm a fucking, to You're it. fucking jacked as fuck. Yes. Thank you, bro. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Holy shit. I, yeah. Okay. Dude. So what if, and you're 23 years old and what have your experiences with, uh, what have your experiences been with women? Uh oh, uh, I've had only true a Axel Crispy. Obviously I had a girlfriend in high school, uh, lasted like six months. I, that was honestly fine. We were like young enough that it didn't even like cross my mind yet. That women were like literally evil. How long was and that then, girlfriend relationship for? Be... <laughs> I think it was like seven months, which. I guess is pretty average for high school. Obviously, it's not going to last forever, but, you know. You think he's a fake cell? Yeah. Some people okay, are saying he's a fake cell. It, it didn't go well, or? No, it went great. It was, you know, it was, it was good for building, I don't know how to say it appropriately, but building experiences in things. Sure. <laughs> getting getting a worldview, yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, definitely. I think all relationships pres okay. are an opportunity. Quick, to quick tell, okay? Ready? Quick tell. If anybody does that laugh, <laughs> that is the most distrust. That is the most weasel laugh ever. That laugh alone is a giveaway that you are talking, that you are talking to a fucking weasel right there. It's the it's it's like a discount Beavis and Butthead laugh. Got to be fucking careful. That shit, you should be sussing right away. There we go. Gynotype's got it. Gynotype knows the sus. Yeah, that sus is shit grow even if it's a bad relationship like i personally had a relationship once with the worst most toxic person and leaving that relationship i was like okay next up i need to make sure my future relationship yeah exactly Rever <laughs> re-virgin <laughs> i've never <laughs> it's been so long since i've heard the term re-virgin <laughs> You put it back. You got to put it back in the bottle. You got to put it back in the bottle. Instantly picked up on or I picked up on. Listen, a re-virgin is, is when you, listen, you got to look it up for yourself. I can't tell you. You have to find it no, out for yourself. It's, it's a, a journey, okay? Re-virgining so is a sure, journey. Obviously, every uh, every relationship is a growing experience for sure. Um, <clears throat> so, okay, can I ask you, I assume you've, have you had sex? Yeah, a few times. Okay. Um, Wait a minute. And... Don't then how is he an incel? This guy's a fraud. My image is a, is a... He's a fake. He is a fake cell. He's a fake cell. An incel. I am an incel, by the way. Fraud. I'll explain that later because that fraud. might seem like a contradiction, but it's true. I am an incel. Okay. When was the last time you got some? Uh, see, time is funky. Yeah. Beginning. How long ago was the start of the pandemic? Like, I guess one year ago, we can say. So, yeah, under a year. Okay. Um, Dude, what? That's not what makes you an incel? One year? That doesn't make you... What? The pant... Listen, we're all... Everybody who doesn't currently live with their partners is an incel by that standard. The pandemic has turned everyone into an incel. Oh, come on. So... Oh, come on. Had a seven-month relationship... You said it was okay. It was alright. I mean, obviously, it wasn't like Volcel. Like I don't know. Super serious. It was a high school relationship. Okay. Uh, and what have you been up to since? The exactly, end of high on school? Yashi. Did you go to college or anything like that? Me too. Me too. Holly. Yeah, yeah. I actually uh, just finished undergrad uh, back in December. Nice. And uh, I actually just got accepted <laughs> to law. I love this from T from Heem's chat. He got sex during the pandemic. This guy's a scammer. <laughs> I told you! I told you this was gonna be gold! I told you this interview was gonna be goddamn gold! <laughs> He's a scam cell!
<laughs> Fucking <laughs> a sus cell is what he is. He's an in sus. Law school. Okay. Uh, law okay. school. So all right. Oh no. Like, dude, honestly, it sounds like you've got a lot going for you. Yeah. So I what know. is the problem? I do. <laughs> So there is a no grift problem other than I, I hate love it. women. Why? That's my problem. Wait, okay, so let's because get into why. Suck. Why? Uh, Dude, just date men. If women suck so much, just date men. I mean, one by one. Don't, don't, yeah, don't get, don't get too fucking out of hand. Let's go slowly, and I, we, I want to go slowly. What? Uh, <laughs> why exactly? Walk me through it. <laughs> you um, had a girlfriend. I you can't... obviously you, you liked women. So, uh, so, uh, where did the shift happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There uh, we go. It's the <laughs> yeah, I mean, true, true. Yeah, where's Troy? I think Troy went uh, to bed. I think, like I said, it kind of came from you start to think about it. Yeah, I know. Those are like gay, gay MGTOWs. Gugug towels. Gay going their own way. I don't know. Talk to enough girls. You meet enough girls. You pick up on these patterns. You start to realize what kind of people they are. I have to say, too, I'm also a Catholic. So I'm, I'm like a new new Catholic. And if you just Correct. think about Correct. everything the name that's is like demonic. evil that the Catholic church, church teaches you about, it is women. He's ripped. He's a lawyer. Oh, I get it. Shitty personality. Oh, and, and Holic Master, you know that's got to be shitty personality. That's got to be like atomically shitty. That's got to be like the biggest, nastiest shit you could possibly imagine. Just just radioactively bad personality if you are both if you are both an eight out of ten ripped as shit and a lawyer then your personality has to be so bad like it has to be so goddamn bad like you have to be basically a ser like an open serial killer or he's just lying out about everything which is possible P <sighs> Yes, yeah. The people over incels, listen. 99%, I hate to say this, I'm sorry, but 99% of people who are incels is because they have a shit ass personality. Listen, ug ugly people get tons of fucking scooter punani 69. No matter what, they will get that fucking poon, okay? I'm serious. I'm serious. E even quote unquote ugly people, listen, look. Listen. You all look at me and you and and you all are very kind to my appearance, okay? But listen. Let's be real here. A lot of that is because I'm funny as fuck and I make people laugh. I've had a lot, listen. I've had a lot of sex in my life, okay? And most of that is because of my personality, okay? Because I'm funny and because I'm nice. There you go. That's the thing. That's the secret. The secret to life is be a little confident, be engage with people. And you'll do fine. And you'll do fine. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me I'm, I'm pretty or anything like that. Don't worry. It's all good. The lip ring helps. But I've only had the lip ring for a few years. I've only had a few. I've only had the lip ring for a few years. A confidence help helps. But to build confidence, you have to, to... To have confidence, you have to know what's good about you, okay? Well, true. See? Well, thank you very much, Ziggy. I really appreciate that. It's the glasses. The glasses sell it. Yeah. Look, once I take them off, I look weird. When I take my glasses off, I look weird. See? I look weird without my glasses. People are like, what the fuck? When I take my glasses off, I look like this. I look like Pogi. I look like Pogi when I take my glasses off. There we go. There you go. Oh, shut up. I'm just goofing around. Chill. Let's watch the video. So watch the goddamn the evil, video. What is, what's evil about them? Like sexual immoralcy. Like having like... Immoralcy? Sex, like getting like... Okay. Okay. Sexual immoralcy. Okay, this guy's just a... This, this guy's gotta be... Okay, one of this guy is one of two things. This guy is either a, like a, a god tier troll, like he's developed a bit, and therefore we deserve to continue laughing at him because he's made such a good bit, or he's one hundred percent convinced, one hundred percent convinced of all of this, and he actually thought immoral C was good. There's no way a lawyer. Come on, 
like girls like he's got to be lying i think women hey one like, sec okay hold on like wait one sec one sec screen. so one sec one sec one sec, one sec. so traditionally have not men been way more sexual than women yeah but it's different though how like if you look men, back in like, the history of time men have been fucking around yeah it's different though that's what i'm saying how i guess Men have like a carnal desire. For no, like, really no, delete this. Like, delete like, this. Wait. Delete that. Never destroy that image. That is horrible. Destroy that image. Delete this. So why Women, do you on think... the other hand, it's like what? an evil thing. They like what? they just like have it because they've been like manipulated into like having a bunch of sex and just doing like gross shit. Why do you think that men have this innate desire and that women? You call it evil. A cursed image has been acquired. You know what? You better be careful because that's going to end up being a meme image that people are going to use. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. Oh, fuck you. Biology. Men, men I'm not helping this. I'm not helping this. To have sex. But it's why? So, like so obviously women are too. No, not really. It's different. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'm not really understanding how you think that the species of humans has survived all this time with only a one half of the reproducers having a drive for sex. I, 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 the yeah. 1K dono came at a price. No, you're right. You're right. No. <laughs> my face would be when I, my face would people use a meme image that I specifically asked them not to. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Is the monkey's paw dono true? It's a hamster face. Oh my god, it is kind of like hamster. Pretty clear that That's women have a desire for sex too. No, I think it's a different kind of desire. Do you think men and women are different? Yeah, of course. So do you, doesn't it make sense that they would also have different desires? No, I think men and women no. both have a desire for water. They, they Wait, one sec. I think thing. Me, yeah, of course. Men and women both have a desire for water. Men and both both have oh, a desire no, for I'm sunlight. <laughs> These are like basic... biological needs. Yeah, and so is sex. Like, that's that's not a biological. You don't need sex. It's a biological so why do we... want. It... Yes, you do. Yes, yes, you do. Absolutely. Maybe later, Rhodes. If we don't, if we don't need, you, if sex... you don't have sex, you're not gonna die. <laughs> You don't die without sex, but it's still a need. Emotional, you don't die necessarily without emotional needs. There's just different types. Oh, these people are stupid. Mm, You'll just like sure. die if you stop having sex. Good night, sex. Ken Monger. Thanks you for coming by. You probably wouldn't die if you didn't get sunlight either. Yes, you would. No. You'd probably die. No. True, yeah, Windleby. I think so. You'd no. start to shrivel up and die. You literally need sunlight. No, you're wrong about that. Come on. You could have, there's people who are spend 24 hours a day in prison. They don't You want to know how we know you don't need sunlight to survive? Because CTV was on a submarine. Bam! Wrecked! Oh, owned with facts and logic. I They let prisoners outside. That's why they have prisoners there's, there's, go outside. Come on, there's prisons that are much more fucking strict. I'm just saying there's even things the most, even the most intense high security prisoners are let outside. They wait, wait, wait. Yes, out. obviously sunlight is help. Gay fish, gay fish. What do you? Who do you think I am? Obviously, sunlight is healthy for you. Obviously, I never said otherwise. It's just much like other things. Ugh. One by one, they okay. let them out individually. Okay, I and can't so even. You think I can't even respond because we wouldn't die without sex. That it's, but if that's if that's the case, that we wouldn't it die. Is, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Devious Chelster. People who live up north. Yeah. You don't do sun? You've gotten some sun, surely. Oxygen is slowly killing us all. Is it? <laughs> okay. True. Not a biological there you go. Need. And the, if it's not yeah, a listen, biological a plant, need, why, okay? Wait, okay, listen. so then why are you saying that men are uncontrollable? Because I'm saying for men, it's a stronger desire. It's a biological want. Women, women don't have the same desire for sex that men do. Wrong. That's just my entire point. It's Wrong. Pretty... It's just different. Wrong. It's just different.
oxygen erosion is what causes aging? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Self-explanatory. I okay. think most people know the. If you talk to any man, it's a it's a very carnal hunger. With women, it's more. A very carnal hunger. Okay, real quick. Real quick here. Okay, ready? Ready? Let me ask you this. Women, this is a this is a WAMS only poll. WAMS only poll, okay? WAMS only poll. I make it a WAMS only poll. There you go. Uh, yeah, gender fluids, gender fluids can be included. Sure, let's go for it. WAMs only though, WAMs and 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 WAM inclusives. I don't know how the WAMs. I don't think. Yeah. Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, damn. If any of you non-WAMs vote, I will chorp your norts off. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. 57%. The WAMs have the carnal hunger as well. Damn. Damn. Or like a like a power ma manipulation kind of tool. But you but men use it for for manipulation too. Yeah, they can for sure, but it's but they use it because that is their end game in a way. They they want sex as their end game. Women so, use it because okay. they want they exploit <laughs> men who want to have sex. Have fun, Doctor Heemed. We've been having a good time so far with this one. I'm not. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, I still want to know the beginning of how you arrived here, and we can get more into the specifics. I just want to know, like, so did you? So was there like one thing or did you start like looking on forums? Like, how did you arrive here? You know, I think I've always been here, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> I've always been here. You just had sex six months ago. <laughs> he just admitted having sex six months ago. And he's like, I've always been an incel. Come on. It's, it's kind of like. I always knew deep down that this he is. He he unironically has been revirgined. Oh well, there's only so, I can only blast it so much. Here, I'll turn it up more. Here, I'll try to turn it up more. Here we go. In society, like this is just how it's always been. But I think I was just too horny to like admit it to myself. I was like, well, I want to have sex, so I'll just like, yeah, whatever women say. Yeah, no, you, you guys are totally equal. You guys are totally like. You know, like what do you, I, you guys can think just as well as we do, and I would just like tell myself that. Just what the fuck is revergent? No, oh, wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know what it's like to be revergent? You'll when that feel that face win that face win. You've never felt revergening. Okay, listen, that face win. You've never felt revergening. That face win, no revergent. That phrase, that face, that face when you've never had the, the, the unique experience of going through the re-virgining machine. Okay? Listen. The fucking re-virgining machine, alright? Born again virgin. Yup. So I could get pussy. But I don't really care I don't know anymore, what you, so I'll I guess, say whatever the fuck I want. I guess, like, what do you mean when, I don't understand what you Yeah, mean. well, true, Wendell B. I'm very privileged. I had a re-virgining machine. Back in the old day, you used to have to do it ma do it manually. Back in the old day, you know, your grandpappy would take you out into the barn, and he'd, he'd, he'd strap you up against the barn wall and just re-virgin you himself. The manual crank. Yeah, exactly. I mean by evil, like... Women have the same wants and desires as men. They just want to have a good life. They just want to... I, I don't think they want the same desires as men. Okay. I, I think I think they want something totally different. I think it's inherently... What okay. do they want? Okay. <laughs> Devious Chilster says, Revergining sounds like some corruption of champions level kink shit. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Listen, only 10 people in chat are going to understand that, but you are so not wrong. I think they want to control men with sex, and I think that's wrong. That's morally wrong. You think the entire existence of women is just to try to control men with sex? 
I think their modern existence, yeah, that's totally what's happening. And what about when they go try to get careers or try to have a family? That's the most evil thing of all. Women getting careers. Don't get me started, bro. Jesus Women Christ, bro. Don't, don't get me started, bro. Don't get me started. Women working careers. What's next? What's next? Women having agency? The vote? Have you ever seen that one thread? This is this is a totally on topic. Have you ever seen that one thread about women with work husbands on Twitter? There's an what entire thread about women telling their stories about their work husbands. I don't know what a work this? husband is. Can you explain it? It's uh, I bet I could even find the video for it or uh, the the thread for it. But basically, it's an entire thread of women explaining. Their yeah, work fun. People like this literally believe. People like this unironically believe. Um, uh, they unironically believe that like women should just sit at home being bored all day, and if you happen to have babies. Then the babies get to um. Then you get to have fun with the babies, but that's it. Otherwise, you just sit at home being fucking boring. That's it. That's what these people believe. Uh, have you ever seen the uh, The Office? Yeah. True. Thick goblins. That is it's very true. You know, like uh. Listen. What's I have a soft like spot Jim for and goblins. Pam? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like you have like a work husband, and then you start cheating on your boyfriend with your work husband. It's an entire thread of girls telling their story about how they cheat on their husbands with with their work husbands it's horrible dude okay but i'm not gonna advocate that that's a good thing obviously like this is you're you martian girl what is re-virgining you'll just have to find out yourself just give it a try true lady kelgana to some horrible examples like i saw even in your thread you pulled up some pictures of girls saying like i fucked my boyfriend's dog or whatever like obviously <laughs> oh no obviously no we're are... not gonna do dog pill please god no dog pill no 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 dog pill please don't let this go into dog pill Horrendous oh, Jesus. fucking scenario. Not again. But it's too early. We haven't even reached summer. We can't be having dog pill discourse again. Do you think like every woman <laughs> white girl summer ended prematurely? Do you think every woman is looking for a work husband? Uh well maybe not the work husband specifically, but I think a lot of them no! are. No! Ivy! Bad! I'm bonking you! I'm bonking you, Ivy! <laughs> <laughs> Boonk. <laughs> That's like a lot of bonks for you, Ivy. You get like six just for you. Boom, 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 boom. Any woman tells you she wants a career, she's looking for a work husband. Yeah. So, it's amazing to me. Do you have uh, any siblings? Yeah, two older sisters. They read. And I can't read that. 85D2D Derek. I can't read the rise of the dog pill on Twitter. I'm not on Twitch. I literally can't. I can't read that. I can't read this seminal work. The seminal work by Vosh Vidya. The rise of the dog pill. I cannot read this on, on, on stream. Told me the most on all this. What did you. What did they do? All they ever. They just had tons of promiscuous sex. Did drugs, alcohol, underage, like total whores, totally red pilling. And then um, what? They told you that being a woman is horrible. No, they didn't. No, they think women oh, are you, awesome. I just oh. saw their actions. I'm like, wow, women are fucking horrible. Oh, okay. Um, don't you think it's weird to have this double standard where you were trying to get pussy? No, but I like where you're going with this, Lady Kalgana. I like where you're going with this. But that's not, unfortunately, that's not what it is. That is not what it is, unfortunately. But if they were trying to get dick, then all of a sudden they're horrible. <laughs> like, why do we have to have this hip hypocritical double standard? I don't think it's totally hypocritical. Like I said, like, I totally shouldn't have had sex and I totally like, oh. repent for that. But at the same time, I think it's different. I, I had sex like three times and it was too What a slut! S what a slut! He had sex three times! Slut! What a f fucking slut! Revirgined little slut! You can't wash, even the revirgining machines can't wash out your sluttiness! Like, really serious relationships, and another time was because I was, like, falling away. And I, like, it's totally disgusting, and at least I can acknowledge it's disgusting. True. Maybe women should acknowledge how disgusting they are when they have, like, 20 sexual partners. Why? Why what? Why is that disgusting? 
to have 20 sexual partners? Sure. That's going to be someone's mom someday. So? <laughs> That's going to be someone. I love how his voice cracked. Okay. Okay. The voice cracking here makes me think he's legit. This is actually really hard. Hemed. How the fuck did you find this guy? I can't tell. I can't. I haven't figured it out yet. If this guy is a joke or not. The bro, the, the, the break in his voice there seems either he's a very good actor or he nailed that. Like, and nailed that. Like, the, that's going to be someone's mom someday. Like, that was like, what? So, do you want your mom to have 20 sexual partners before your dad? Do you want your mom to, holy shit, he's really into it. Oh my god. Here? You don't care? Why would I? What do you mean? That's her life. That's gross, dude. Why? I didn't even. Wait, one sec. Why would I give a fuck how many Holy people shit, banged dude. my mom before I was even conceived? I wasn't why in existence. What do you mean? True, why don't you give him. A fuck? That's gross, True. Dude. Why? Your What's gross? Bored. Listen, this guy is about an inch away from doing this. Imp, shut up. Not that oh. one. Bazinga. No. Oh, oh no! I I forgot. I rebounded. Those are all the wrong sound effects. Those are the wrong ones. I rebound the sound effect. Ignore it. Sorry. Wrong sound effect. <laughs> I meant this one. Hopefully depriving that little boy of his God-given right to a mommy. There we go. I meant to do that one, but I forgot that I needed to rebind that one. <laughs> bazinga! Bazinga! Imps! Ah! <laughs> failed! Failed on all of the soundboard there. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Yeah, I even got the doo doo fart. Is that a voice mod? Um. Yeah, I use voice. No, I use voice mod for the sounds. Um. And I use the uh. I use vo voice meter potato for my uh stuff. And then I have a um Reaper equalizer and stuff like that. Anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> Nothing. I I just. When am I binding the voice clip? Wait. I don't remember. I, look, I have to redo this. I need to get a proper stream deck because this thing is not working properly. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Sure, Ignore my Wait, hang on. Do you think that like uh, pe women don't wash themselves out or wash themselves after they have sex? Like it's not like the the germs of the previous guy are just like manifesting inside the vagina. No, it's not the germs aspect. It's the fact that if you have a bunch of premarital sex, you're a whore. That's just how it works. Works. Why? Though? That's, That's what I'm asking. Like, well, is why? I I know it's why does that make mom, you? But look, like, do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a wife? I have a fiance. How many How many sexual partners has she had before you? I don't know. You never asked. No, we've been together how for many, seven much... years. Lady Kelgana, that is disgusting. Okay, that is disgusting. Clean your fuck. That that is disgusting. And you're probably correct, but that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen typed in this goddamn chat. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen anybody t Nasty. Uh, when did you guys start dating? When I was 20. See you soon, I'm Dr. Heem. So Thanks for 22. coming and hanging out. We're happy to have you. What if she told you, and this is just a hypothetical. I'm not, like, saying this about your real fiance. Sure, what yeah. What if she told you she had 30 sexual partners before you? Okay. Would well, she well, still well, be that? Would she still Would she still be the same uh, loving person that she is today? Yeah, totally the same. Okay. Does she still... Do we still have a fantastic dynamic in our relationship? Everything's, everything's exactly the same. She just okay, so then why would I care? Thing. Why would I care? True! Cop, Chad Heemed. Chad Heemed doesn't give a shit about what his age, his girlfriend, who has agency, did in the past that's her own fucking business. Based Chad Heemed out. Simple why? as you're a cuck. Why? If you're, a cock! Your girlfriend or... Wait, you're getting pre cut Now we've moved into pre-cuckoldry? What is this? Is fucking minority report? Pre-cucked? I love it. I love it. Jesus fucking Christ. Fiance would have had 30 sexual partners before you. That's but I don't understand. Cuck. Why does that matter? What about, what about how, wait, how many just, times... Wait you... a second. Holy shit. Can you imagine if you're like... What if you're... I just want you to think about the implications of this. How many people have you pre-cucked? If if you if 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 cuckoldry crosses the time space if if cuckoldry uh, transcends space time, then how many people have you pre-cucked? Holy shit! Holy shit! 
I'm I'm like a I'm like a I'm like a what's the term? Is there a female term for a bull? Because I probably have cucked so many. I've probably cucked so many people. What's a female bull? An empress? No, I thought a cuck queen was like. I thought that was like the person, the girl getting cucked. No, not a cow. Oh, thank you, Netanaru. Oh, I'm not a cow. Well, I guess I, I don't know. Cows are kind of cool. Look, cows get a bad rap. Okay, so do so do pigs. Anyway, let's let's fucking continue. Shut the fuck up, you idiots. Let's continue. Who's employed? Ip, shut up. Oh, that makes it even worse. I don't no, want her to be employed. No, no, no. Forget that. I'm saying like, let's say, should I care about how many um, dresses she owned, or how many cars she owned, or how many jobs? Good luck, Mongo the Ball. Good luck. Bob, she was, Cows are like, really cute. Why, this is just an arbitrary characteristic. Does it matter? I don't think those things you listed are arbitrary. If she's had a home wrecker, oh you, yeah, true. Maybe, like if we're comparing, no, jobs you're all good. You're all good. Sure, yeah. sucked at her job and she got fired. Like maybe that says something about her. If she's everything about people, Demon life Toro, says something true. About okay, them. so she's that's had 30 the... sexual partners beforehand. That kind of says a lot about you. Does this mean you can cuck yourself? Huh? That's a really good question. This is making me think of that song. I'm my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. It sounds funny, I know, but it really is so. Well, yes, I'm my own grandpa. You ever heard that song, chat? It's really good. Listen, it's really good. I don't know if it necessarily does. I'm just, I guess, confused. Like, why? Why? Really, lady? Well, that's good to know, Lady Kilgana. This combo is really weird, but that's what you're here for. Listen, we are right now on our eight and a half, okay? All right? Eight and a half. So we're in the weird zone, okay? Enjoy it. Sit down and enjoy it. I still don't understand why it matters. If someone's a good person who's kind, mm -hmm. respectful, okay, that makes sense, Lady trustworthy, what, like what all characters. I, let's yeah. See, I think, I think that goes into my definition of a good person. I think if you've had like copious amounts of sex i think that makes you a bad person inherently men and women by the way but women are the yes worst offenders. yes falgaia asks if i sleep with this incel's future partners 10 years down the line have you cucked him in the present you are currently multiple people in this chat right now are cucking are 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 what's the word proto cucking him right now no you're wait you're post cucking him you're post cucking him Okay, thank you, Posadas John. Yeah, it's post cucking works as well. Your bio teacher showed you I'm my own grandpa. That's really funny. It's post cucking at this point. Pre cucking is when you do it before. Now we're post cucking, also known as po cucking. There we go. Here's of this. Okay, I. So what? Like, I guess I'll ask you. What makes a good person? Abstinence I, makes you a good person. I think. Yeah, I think abstinence. I think. You know, being a religious person. Make my father was his brother's father. Uh oh, oh shit! Listen, my uncle. Hold on, my uncle. Okay, there's. A, I I have a funny story with this. Okay, I have a funny story with this. Okay, listen, my uncle married his own daughter-in-law, which means that he was his own son's brother-in-law. I think if I remember correctly. He was he became his own brother, I think is what it is. I can't remember the rule I can't remember how it all worked out, but it was. It was he started dating his son's wife's sister. Which means that he was simultaneously his son's dad and his son's brother in law. It's very Kekona. It's very Kekona. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Listen, that's my uncle. I didn't have anything to do with this fucking bullshit. All right? 
He's he's currently yeah, he's writing his own future. It's it's a uh, it's um Roko's Roko's Cuckolisk. Roko's Cuckolisk. There we go. You're a good person. I think yeah, if you follow just any of the teachings of the church, I think you're a good person. Okay, I don't. I never I'm I'm agnostic. I I still help old ladies cross the oh, street. Oh, I would love that. Nuts. I work I'm at a hospital. I'm trying Listen, to do cancer. I would put aside all of our hatred. Listen, I love ASMR enough that I would gladly, I would gladly put aside my hatred. Okay, gladly, for that conversation, and then we can re resume. It'll be like it'll be like the arm. It'll be like the uh, the the ceasefire on Christmas, in World War One. The Christmas ceasefire, like me and Destiny sitting down to talk about ASMR. And then the next day, back at it again, right? Who is my favorite ASM artist? I don't have a single one. We'll talk about that after, though. Research. Why do you guys not get along? Honestly, it's not you guys. Destiny, as he said tonight, Destiny actually hates me. Like, he just actually hates me. I can't entirely explain it. You should probably ask him why he hates me. Probably because, uh, I don't know, I, he thinks I'm, like, literally Satan or something. I think I'm a pretty good person. I'm truthful. I'm nice to everybody. Does that make me a bad person because I uh, had sex? And I'm glad I, we got a clip of that, uh, though. Like, I guess, how do you, how much do you weigh the having sex part eh. versus actual virtues in life that we? Can I, I'm happy to? you at least owned up to it. Let's uh, say I someone. Think, yeah, let's say some. Point. Yeah, like let's say someone doesn't have sex. But true, but I can't say that, Lonnie. True, but I can't say that. <laughs> they're a fucking piece of shit asshole that. Uh, is mean to everybody they have road rage they fucking tailgate when they drive they're you name it how do you weigh the two having sex versus real life virtues oh thank you only facts uh, i appreciate I that i think having sex not having sex is a real life virtue too but to answer your question i think it kind of it depends on the weight i think all sin kind of has almost not an equal weight but i think some sins are worse than others what and i think you should just avoid all sin it's simple as I don't think you can. But this be, dude just sinned like I think five it would minutes be very ago. Hard for someone to to have one virtue of Christianity and not the, I know, I'm sure people do do it, but like, if if How I about had to you? Like weigh the two, I would say, what about me? What are you like a virtuous cr Christian? Yeah, I think I am now. Now that I become Catholic. This guy is a slut. He's a liar and a slut. But what about hating half of the people in the world? Is that think, a very I Catholic no, virtue? Was was the so. Virgin Mary not a woman? I mean, obviously, when I say woman, I mean modern women. Not obviously, not women of the past. Women of the past were under control. Women in the past were virtuous. Is my point. Women now aren't. Jesus virtuous. Christ. There's no woman today who's like. Dude, this guy like, just admitted to not being virtuous. Who's he to fucking throw stones? This dude just admitted to not being virtuous. He he was he was self punishing. Mary, that's not even close, dude. There's no woman today that's married. Oh, oh, no, like Mary, like, mo like, oh, oh. Like, like Mother Mary. Oh, okay. I mean, who knows? I'm sure there's a lot of fucking virtuous women today. Like, no, I haven't met one. What about nurses? One. What about nurses, for example? Or whoa, whoa, whoa! We just figured out Heem's kink. We just figured out Heem's kink. What about nurses? Nurses are virtuous. Ah, you, you played yourself, Heem. <laughs> Self-report. Do 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 do. Teachers. Uh, my fiance. Some of the worst people. My I've fiance ever is one of my, my fiance is one of the most virtuous people. I guarantee you. She. Whoa! Fucking oh! Oh shit! Heem's wife is is also is into his kink. Oh shit! Oh shit! Doctor and nurse. Oh fuck! And, Takes care of wholesome, a small child and, and went to early childhood education. She volunteered 500 or 1,000 hours at a children's hospital. True, not to Volunteered her own fucking time. Like, don't you think that's virtuous? Uh, yeah, I think that is virtuous. Okay. It sounds like she's not religious, though, so she should probably get on that because that's the only way to be saved. So, again, going back to it, do you think <laughs> that if I'm a very, very good... Okay, I really like that. Okay, <laughs> just moving person. on. Moving on amazing person okay? Uh, okay uh everything that you can think of being honest being truthful donating my money da 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 da, da, da. but i don't go to church i'm a bad person now true you're a uh, no, true. I, guess I don't think you're a bad person but you're not going to be saved you have to be saved you really think you really think god would would be like yeah i know you were a fucking amazing person and you helped cure cancer but 
go fuck yourself. You didn't uh, go to church enough. Do you really think good that's that God Thanks is like that? Thanks for coming that? by. Have a good he night. Say go fuck yourself. He's sad you don't go to church. He's. He, it's like you're like he's your father and you just kind of like ignored him. He, he's probably very hurt you don't go to church. Oh, he won't really say go. Them. Wait, okay. So he won't say go fuck yourself. He'll just say spend the rest of eternity in a what fiery a baby. hell. Yeah, what a baby! What a baby! God is sad about me not going to church. What the fuck? Maybe you should make it a little easier. Fuck off. Hell is God right now. Impo comfy. <laughs> are you saying, are you trying to imply that God is enjoying watching this stream right now? Listen, I believe it. I believe that God is a, is an imp. God's an imp. Yeah. It's I know the what absence of God. You've chosen to have the absence of God in your life. He you can't stop that. You, hell is a choice. You, you, it's not like God is sending people to hell. hell is so the going back to my God. initial question, let's say I cure cancer. Uh, okay. Which is never going to happen, by the way, just before anybody gets too hyped. Let's say I cure cancer, but I God never went chat, to church. Everybody, you think God, God is going to send me to hell? Yes. If you don't believe in God, yes, you're going to have to go to hell. That's just how it works. Hell is the absence of God, and you've chosen to have the absence of God. It's really simple. Okay. Uh, all right, going back to the women thing. <clears throat> okay, okay, going yeah, back. This is the Twitter topic. thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have a whole religion debate. Yeah, this is the um, one. This is the guy with the thread. Okay, so are you in any incel communities now? Uh, just Twitter, like my little my little community. Time like to debate you post God. On forums I believe stuff? it. Yeah, like like Twi let's Twitter. Oh, just Twitter. Forum. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and so how is I saw the reception you got was a lot of hate and stuff. How do you deal with that shit? I got a lot of hate, but I also got a lot of support. And I like to think of it as you always outweigh the good uh, over the bad. So I thought to my, like, a lot of, it's, you see, that's kind of, a lot of the hate came from either women or simps. So it's really hard to take, like, any of the hate seriously when you're, like, a slave to pussy. It's like, oh, I hope <laughs> she sees this, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really good. When you're a slave to pussy, pussy. If you're gonna have pussy, dude. Pussy, like, oh, dude. I hope she sees this. He it's even funny. says it like, look, look. You can tell by the way people say words sometimes that they don't say them very frequently. Like if somebody says sex, like sex, like they're like choking on the word sex because they never say the word sex or cock because they never say that. But this guy's like, pussy, pussy. Nobody ever says that. Listen. Nobody says it like that unless they never say the word pussy. Pussy. Or homosexual. The real God? Hello, God. It's good to see you. Welcome. Get comfy. And why are the fuck are you a white name? Why the fuck are you a white name? Sub! You've got more. You've got all the golden jewels you want in heaven. You should be a fucking tier four sub. What the fuck? Come on, God. Tier four sub. Like the, the main response. But also, like, like I was kind of saying, too, it's like... A lot of guys reached out to me. It's like, dude, I'm so happy you posted this. Like, this is such a big, like, red pill. Like, like, like a lot of people, I think, were probably saved from it, too. And are going to probably stay what away would from be your, women, which makes what me would, really happy. What would be your prescription? Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on a minute. I've just figured something out. Oh, my God. I just figured something out. Joseph post-cucked God. Because if God had to have sex with the Virgin Mary and and cucking is transcendent of time, then when Joseph and Mary finally got married and did a bang, Joseph cucked God. That means he's God now. We figured it out. We figured it out. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. God, oh my God, God pre-cucked Christ's stepdad. Holy shit. God pre-cucked Joseph. Oh my God, this is so, actually, I think just, actually, I'm if I'm completely honest, I think Joseph was just normal cucked. Because like, the whole thing is like, Joseph and Mary were supposed to get married, and then God swooped in and fucked. So I think that Joseph got cucked, and then cucked God in revenge. Except, here's the thing.
Mary didn't ask to be fucked by God. So Joseph actually wins in the end because Joseph righteously married, properly married and then fucked God's ex. Which means Joseph is the pog, okay? Jo that means Joseph wins here. Joseph wins. Joseph cucked God in the end. Yep. That men should stop having sex with women? Stop talking. Hey, Iko, good to see anything. you. We just figured out that um that uh God God was post cucked by Joseph. Oh, did Gabriel do the cucking? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm getting lost now. I'm getting a little lost now. Let's continue. Shin. Okay, Stop. so let's say. Okay, okay, sure. One sec. So let's say yeah. that happens. We did it. We did it. Now no it. men are yeah let's say we did it your dreams let's came go. true let's, let's go. go let's go let's go get hype no men are talking to women anymore now Thanks. what happens next uh what do you mean what happens next we like won. The, the... <laughs> what do you mean what happens next oh my god this guy's so dumb it's the end of our species yeah that I think that's probably preferable to what's happening now honestly you think that ending the species is preferable to making women sexually liberated yes a hundred percent yes women's sexual liberation has been the biggest human disaster of all time so we should just get rid of the <laughs> so we should just get rid of the entire species instead <laughs> I mean, the, only sure the, happen, only I the only intelligent the only intelligent the only intelligent life that's ever existed in the solar system that we know of that's able to keep track of history that's figured out Christians. physics mathematics all this crazy Catholics. shit you want to get Trad rid of this cats. whole species because met women like the fuck now uh i think you again it's it's already in a hypothetical so i think it's already kind of like in wacky territory but like i mean if i had to pick I'm, I don't I'm know. I dying. think if men stop talking to women, I think it would actually save the species. In How? A way. Uh, I think I think actually right now what we're doing now is going to destroy the species. I don't think we're going to last much longer at this rate. If you ever look at because of climate change, that's shit? not very Christian. <sighs> or because I, of sex. I don't believe in climate change. Okay, we can I have think, that discussion later. Go ahead. But I think I think if we stay Yikes, our real God, I'm sorry. that's more putting us in danger of the species. And <laughs> The sin and degeneracy in the world. This is what God has said. The sin and degeneracy in the world has reduced my kingdom to ruins. My ex got bald by a politician and my son got shanked by an Italian. It's been a hard life. No. All right. God, you're funny. You're funny, God. All right, Lady Hel All right, Lady Kelgana. All right, cool it there. All right, Lady Kelgana, cool it there. Jesus Christ. I don't even got enough bongs for that one. Jesus Christ, lady. Holy shit. I've seen, uh, yeah, this, is, this is a very common theory, but people always theorize like how all these great empires oh fall. Oh, my God. Do sure. you know what's one thing they all have in common? Again, you can't really attribute it to one thing because they were so long ago. Nobody. Well, yeah, I know. I know one thing is overspending on the military, overexpansion, uh, paranoid leadership. Yeah, these things. But are... you know what, though? They all had right before they fell they all I'm in liberation that's wow that's so interesting right what? before they all fell oh this is the black pigeon speaks wait a second this is the black pigeon speaks argument black pigeon speaks once did this fucking stupid ass video about how women undid the roman empire it's literally there's nothing to it it's just empty nonsense he doesn't even make any meaningful claims this guy's just repeating the black pigeon speaks argument from like four years ago it was one of black pigeon speaks first big videos we're huge that's a that's a thing that happens in every empire that falls. Yes, it's like Rome. Rome is my biggest example. Okay, Rome it can be one. It example. is. This is Black Pigeon speaks. Oh my god. But what about the all the other fucking places like where Chinese, we, like the Chinese, the Persian Empire, empire like, the Persian Empire. Yeah, the Persian uh, Empire. Actually, I don't know about that one. Me, what? Have to look into Persia. You don't. You know forgot what... about the. You forgot about the Ottoman Empire, one of the biggest empires in the history of the world. You just. Oops. You just forgot about that one. Whoopsies. 
Hey, God, good to see you. Thanks for coming by. We got two gods in chat now. Two members of the Trinity, I guess. Like, off the top of my head, that's like one of the most common facts. Is every empire fell mysteriously after women got got a bunch of rights. Wait, I thought the... Wait. Okay, that... Wait, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Wait. I thought... Okay, there's been like three Persian empires, to be fair, okay? There's been like three. Isn't the Ottoman Empire technically a Persian empire? Weren't there like three separate Persian? Okay. Or Turkish? But Turkey is Persia, right? Persia is Iran? Okay, I'm sorry. I might be mix mixing this up. Persia is Iran? Ottomans are Turks? Persia is Iran? They're not Persians. Turkey is Ottoman. Okay, I'm just getting them mixed up then. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Hold on a second. I'm gonna fucking kill you all. I'm gonna fucking kill you all. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second. I'm gonna fucking kill you all. Hold on a second. I'm gonna fucking kill you all. No, I'm not going to. That's a joke. You motherfucking, you motherfucking idiots. You fucking assholes. I am gonna kick your stupid ass. I'm sorry, you're saying my America is showing for getting Iran and Turkey slightly mixed up. They're literally right next to each other. They're right fucking next to each other. And you're trying to roast me about geography when I mixed up this country and this country. I'm going to ban you all. I'm banning every single one of you. That's it. I'm nuking the entire chat. There you go. Have fun. I'll nuke you too. All right. I'll free you now. There you go. Wait. I just got the location of the empires mixed up, you fucking fools. That's it. That's it. I just got... I, literally, everyone's trying to roast me. They are distinct, unique cultures. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out. You people are the worst. You people are the worst. I can't even laugh at a fucking panel. I'm on hour, eight hours and 44 minutes of entertaining you fucks. And then you, and I make one tiny, tiny mistake about which, which empire originated in which of two countries that are right fucking next to each other. And you can't even let me go. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. I'm gonna fucking, oh my god. No, I don't play fucking stupid Europa Universalist noob shit because I don't jerk off to getting to play as like, as like genocidal empires. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I didn't play enough of the Nazi game. Fuck off. What am I? Okay. It's like legit mixing up Mexico and the US. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who just said that? Comrade Amitrine, I'm giving you the chut. There you go. Enjoy your little trash can where you belong. I and mean, now look at America. Do you think America's getting better or worse? What do you honestly think? Is America getting better or worse? Probably better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, meme addict. Thank you. I slept the entire night and you're still live. Thanks. Somebody in here gives a shit. You know what? You know how sad it is, imps? All of you imps are sitting here being fucking assholes to me. And the DG Jeer, the visiting DG Jeer meme addict came in and is the one who's who's most kind to me. Jesus Christ. You all should be ashamed of yourself. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the Ottoman Empire mix-up pass. 
All right. See, it's just a small mix-up. True. You got to play more Pathologic too. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. All right. I'm moving on. I'm forgiving you all. I'm forgiving you all. Why do you say better? Because the average person in America today is better off today. There you go. I unchecked the you. There we go. Forgiveness. Forty years ago. So better off wealth wise. Oh, look at I this. Mean, I have I have a double A. I have an AA in arts history, and I mix them up sometimes. Chat is just being dumb. Thank you, Lilith. You're so kind, Lilith. So kind. Anything wealth, uh, rights. I'm very benevolent. Uh, everything. Indeed. Everything. Are you sure? Uh, most things I would what say. What about yeah. the drug? What about the drug epidemic? What about it? It's going up horribly. A lot of people. I already did like, the free command. I live. I live in an area too where heroin's like. Nobody. Really everyone should people be free. Killing themselves basically on mass with with drugs. Okay, that's a, that, I'm not saying that the world today has what no problem. Wait, hang on, wait, wait, chill, 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 chill. Oh, no, no, I'm just saying. I, what yeah, about yeah. the suicide? So, so wait, wait, too. don't people wait. One sec, 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 one sec. So I never said anything about the world today being oh, perfect. Oh, wait, I just looked up a map of the first Persian Empire and Turkey's inside of the Persian borders. Oh, uh oh, oh, the tide is changing, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, you motherfuckers are about to get roasted. You think I'm going to let you get away with me being right? And oh, you motherfuckers. Oh, and Iran was part of the Ottoman Empire? Oh, fuck you people. You fucking nerds. You fucking assholes. I told you. Oh. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna fucking lose it on you people. I'm gonna fucking vindication. Vindicated. I'm chill. I'm chill. All right. We're going to return. Listen, we're only 27 minutes in. We still have an hour to go. How the fuck are we ever going to make it through here? Right. I, I never, okay. obviously I'm going to concede that there's, there's shit in the world that we can fix today. But you asked me, is the world today better? Yeah, it's better today. And I'm, yeah, yeah. You know what we learned today is that I'm not the only fucking American in chat. That a bunch of you are a bunch of smug ass Americans who don't know any geography either, but you 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 thought that you would be able to pull one over on me because I don't know my geography very well, but you all are just as dumb. Just as dumb. See why I don't think it's better. With the, you said it's better. Because because but none of you materially... none of you have the excuse of being a be, having streamed for eight point eight hours and fifty five minutes. Okay? All of you don't have that ex excuse. I do. Things are I'm not pre-cucking you. I'm cuck. I'm actively. I'm. I'm. I'm mind cucking you all right now. I'm saying it's getting worse because people are miserable. People are killing themselves. Yeah, boy Shamoy says I'm looking it up, but I'm not seeing Pieria in the Ottoman Empire. Pieria. What the fuck is Pieria? Pieria is like what you have when you have to pee too much. Get owned. Selves on mass with drugs and suicide. Is that sound like a happy society? I don't think people are killing themselves en masse with drugs and suicide. It, it, True, Lady Kelgana, I am. Suicide rates are pretty bad. The drug epidemic. Am I supposed to be taking this seriously, Zapatista Libertarian? Zapatista Libertarian, if you come into my stream and take anything I say seriously, that's at your own peril, okay? Really horrible. It's tearing Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. Apart. Like this is, and it's getting worse. Every year it's getting worse. I, I again I don't disagree that it's something that needs to be addressed. We do. We have impo but imp that's impepega. just one shitty we this aspect. One. Like, we do have so impepega. It's this one. It's called impepega. So much better. I again I'm not saying it is in like here's like one thing that's going wrong so everything's going wrong. Oh I'm damn, saying, real god. What is, what Jesus. is this thing god going damn. wrong? Say about society. I'm saying, does that sound like a happy society if people were starting to kill themselves? More? If people were, if like an, if, if a, a lot of people were starting to kill themselves, that would be bad. Almost as bad as all men hating women and never interacting with them. Pretty much I on the same, that, same level. No, I think that would be based if, if men started hating women. So you're against that. suicide and drug abuse. 
Oh, Eurist, oh, I see. Eurist McPearl right now in chat. Demon Mama, we need to talk about this thing you do. Just like when you said one, one pound of steel was heavier than one pound of feathers and then tried to shake it off. Wait, you mean when I absolutely destroyed chat live? When I literally fooled both chat and the person who was trying to get me to do the bit and I doubled it and I got both of you and you all got roasted and I pulled it off by ending it with a meatball voice? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You wish you could forget that. You wish it was me trying to shake it off. But the sad part is the entirety of chat got owned. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Remember the time I forgot the name of Meatball? Via Latte, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. Thank you for the uh, gifted three tier one subs. Really appreciate that. It's true, true. Deuce, but yes. you <laughs> are okay with uh, wiping out the entire species due to lack of sex. No, I think that would save the species, actually. I what do you? If, I think if we put women back in place and they were like good mothers and like, like they weren't allowed to like be huge whores, I think it would save the species. You what do you? The um. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So, how, if you had to put a number on it, yeah, it was good, Windleby. How much do you think? I love how everyone thought that I didn't know the bit when I literally like re recognized Limmy in the background, and I'm like, oh, Limmy, and then I tell everybody who Limmy is, and then I do the bit, and then everybody thinks I don't know the bit. Literally, this is why I say I owned chat. This is why I say I owned chat. The uh, suicide rate has increased in the last, let's say, 20 years. I would in 20 years, maybe yeah. I would say maybe like four to five percent. OK, maybe yeah. higher. You're about right. It? it went from 17.8. Okay. Let me as best. Uh, true. Suicides is very funny. per hundred thousand to 22.8 from 1999 shit. to yeah. 20. That's nothing. What do you mean? That's nothing. That's a four to five increase in 20 years. Not, sorry. Wait, wait. Not percent. Not percent. We're talking about 17.8 out of 100,000 to 22.8 out of 100,000. Do you think this is an epidemic? Do you think this is Do you think this is an epidemic? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's not okay. ruined Ivysaurus. Thank you very um, much for the $20. Dollars. Okay, don't we'll worry. That's like a lot of numbers. It's, 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 Trust me, I got I live with this dog every single day. You can't ruin it. Let's see. Okay, so 17.8 out of 100,000 is... Zero point zero one seven eight percent. Okay, that was what See, it used to be. This is saying for me, it says from two thousand through two thousand. Again, this is like the first link from CDC. This is true. This Real okay. God. Two thousand through two thousand sixteen, the age-adjusted suicide rate increased thirty percent. That's concerning, Ivy. Uh, well, we can see. We can see if it was one percent and it went to wait one sec. If it was one percent and yeah. it went to two percent, that's a one hundred percent increase. I'm super hungry, actually. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So when there. you're talking about tiny fucking fractions, a slight adjustment is going to make a proportional massive increase. Right? So okay. if we compare that, we went yeah, from boy, zero. Yeah, boy, thank you very much for the $5. I ain't opening that link. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, but I'm not fucking opening that link. 0.017% to Love you. 22.8 non by 100,000. Times 100 to 0. No 0.028 percent. So I don't think that 0.02 percent of people committing suicide. I don't think it's an epidemic that uh, that we like to, that we went from one to 1.7 to 2.2 percent is, you know, some crazy fucking not even two percent. Sorry, zero. I'm my mistake. We went from 0.01 percent to 0.02 percent. Not even, yeah, I made a mistake. Yeah, This is the percentage. So, I, again, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. It sounds like you're just throwing a lot of numbers at I think I'm just going to read it the way that the, <laughs> my dumb caveman phrase. Simplicity is always best, like I say. Simplic it's saying it went up oh, 30%. Oh, shit. I think I'm just going to be 30%, not 0. 0.2, whatever. Wait, wait. Did okay. we all forget? Wait a second. Hold on a minute. Did we all forget 
Do we we all forget the moment tonight when Destiny said, "Sorry, those numbers are inconvenient. I'm talking about common sense." Did we all forget that that happened? I even forgot that happened. That happened tonight, everybody. This guy's having a real Destiny moment. Yeah, it's it's common sense though. Sorry, sorry. I just had to, I had a little bit of a brain blast, a little throwback. Yeah, I was arguing with him. He's like, yeah, I'm like, where are you even getting these numbers from? And he was like, well, it's just common sense, you know? It was so good. And then he got mad at me for, for saying we should use the scientific method. Oh, I'll never let him forget that. Well, listen, I mean, we'll see. Okay, right. listen. So if so, oh, somebody clipped it because guess what? I'm posting that panel. So a lot of people are going to see that moment. <laughs> thing is, if 1% of the population eats cheeseburgers, and then okay. later it becomes 2% of the population ate cheeseburgers. That's a 100% increase. Okay. So when you're saying 30% increase, but the numbers are already so low to begin with, that's not very concerning. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, we can uh, move off of this. If you want. Okay. Yeah, the numbers go over my head. All I see is 30%, and then it says for males, 21%, and women, 50%. Which, I mean, even if we take the numbers aside and we just, uh, if you look at males to females, why is the women rate going up so much? Probably because they're having unfulfilling lives full of motionless sex. Or maybe it could be because they have the pressure of having to work and raise a family and fucking juggle everything. True! I agree, actually. I don't think they should have to work. No, I don't think that they should have to be uh, juggle everything. I think men should help out. No, I just I think men should work, women should stay home and take care of like all the like the family stuff, just like how it's been for thousands of years. But how though? Yeah, like how clearly, well? clearly the one man's job is not enough to support impo an entire mods, family. Anymore. Impo mods, a real yeah, impo mods moment. Split in half because the workforce has been increased. If women left the workforce, wages would literally skyrocket. If wages have doubled, uh, sorry, if wages have cut in half because the workforce has doubled, that means the net has been nothing. Like even if you cut the workforce in half, say women get in the get in the house, and men you go work all the work on the jobs. I would love uh, to know what this guy does for work as well. I would love it. It's like, oh, it's been that way for thousands of years. Okay, so you get to go be a fucking uh, a fucking manual laborer in a field, and you get to die at 30 from congenital heart failure that... It, like, what the fuck? It's so fucking stupid. Oh, yeah, most hunter-gatherer societies were matriarchal. Weird how that works. Uh, if the amount of money is shit. the same, it's just going to be the same amount of so money much. coming home. Yeah, but now women get to stay home. Have I ever hallucinated before? Okay, but the money yes, is still not enough. Yeah, it partner sucks. Has to work. Well, no, it would be enough because yes, now women aren't working and the wages increase. That's the what wage, I just if said. the wages, in, if all of the women's wages go to the men, there's no yes. real increase for the family. Before, what, let's say, let's no say, one. wait one <laughs> sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Chill, 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 chill. Let's say a man makes fifty thousand dollars and a woman makes fifty thousand dollars. You're okay. saying that the women should get out so the man can make a hundred thousand. Yes. They both still make a hundred thousand. Yeah. So what are you? How is that going to improve anything? But now, but now. Don't open it too much, Ivy. Sorry. Working, one person's working. And take care of yourself. The amount of money that's coming home is still in, in, inadequate. <laughs> oh, oh no 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 okay I no I see your point now. <laughs> is he okay? What the fuck was that noise? I see your point. Yeah, yeah it's, it's still probably inadequate, but at least now only one person has to work. And if anything, if we all <laughs> stop inspiration, I'm sure wages will go even higher. Oh my god. <laughs> we have so much to talk about. That reaction. I don't even want to go down the... I don't even want to go down the immigration right, route right I won't right worry now about you. That's a whole nother you Take good care of yourself, okay? You're just so wrong about. Yeah, but, I'm wrong. Uh, I mean, literally every economist in the world says that Immigration is a net Every benefit. Every is literally a lying Jew. Whoa! Okay, well, you can relax with the the insults, the slurs, please. Or else I'm going to have to hang Calling someone up. a Jew? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I could call people Jews. That's my bad. I won't I I mean, call people Jews. You're, you're... 
So, like, I'm trying to have a nice conversation with you. I think we've been doing okay so far. But yeah. You, if you're going to be an asshole, then I'm going to have to let you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, can, can we be chill? Yeah. One yeah, thing I, I will I point that. out real quick. One thing I will point out real quick. Just a, just a quick little pointer, okay? We all recognize that it's super bad when this guy goes mask off anti-Semite. But remember... For this entire conversation, he's literally been saying that women are are actually evil sluts, all of them. Just remember, remember, we shouldn't really be all that surprised at this point. Now, it does come as shocking because of how uh, stigmatized um, that behavior is. And I agree with it being that stigmatized. But I will say it's a little bit odd. Isn't it a little bit weird how normalized hating women is? So much so that, like, we contrast it to other types of hate and we go, Oh, shit, dude, you're going overboard. But this guy literally just spent an hour saying women are trash sluts. Yeah. Really fucking weird. Really fucking weird, huh? A weird little just thing to notice, you know? Yeah, we did know he... That's true. I mean, it's true. We knew he was an insult. We didn't know he was a Nazi. But, nonetheless. That was going to push any buttons with, with calling people... You're, you're literally claiming that an entire field of study is run by all Jews. That's true. That's true, no, Lady I Kelgana. I agree with you. Remember, kids, once the fascists are done with the queer people and the immigrants and the racial minorities, then they come after women's freedom. Nobody is safe. That's literally historical fact. True. Solidarity. We all fight against the fascists. All right? We're, we all fight against them, okay? All by Jews. I'm just saying most of them are of that orientation and lie. I, True, I really real God. Polyamory here, so. is the most holy union. I agree. I'm disappointed in you. If that's what you think. <laughs> oh, no. Don't be... That really breaks my heart. I I really wanted you to be proud of me, Dad. I don't know. Did you not know I was also like a raging anti-Semite? No, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. These kind of go hand in hand. Okay. Um. <clears throat> True, though. At least he's telling the truth. They do usually go hand in hand. It's actually really common. What's your... Okay, let's get off of this because, like, I don't even want to go down this Oh, path. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. What yeah, is your yeah. relationship like with your family? I agree with you on that, Lady Kelly. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I have loving mother and father. Uh, you know, despite my sisters being, you know, what they are, I still love them. My brother-in-law is really cool, but he's also, like, a huge simp. Um, What do you, like, do they know about your views on this shit? Uh, yeah, I think they basically know. Maybe not, like, the woman-hating stuff, because I think it would hurt my mom. But, like, <laughs> I think they know that I'm very unhappy with, like, the current system and everything. You are, Rhubarb. Okay. Uh, so are you thinking that you're going to live the, the rest of your life alone? All Nazis? Listen, all Nazis? Yeah, oh, oh, Grime Dango. Oh, Grime Dango, you're just getting here. Oh, you missed such a fun stream. This whole segment has been so wild. I've been crying laughing. Everyone, everyone in chat, if you're having a good time, if you think this segment was fucking awesome, I want to see you post a pogey. Honestly, if you if you think this segment has been great, I want you to post a pogey for me, okay? Please. No no need to combo, just post a pogey if you've been enjoying it. Is this not one of the funniest segments I've done in a long ass time? Look at those pogies! Look at them all! <laughs> the pogies, here we go! <laughs> This has been such a wild ride. You came in just as this guy went mask off. He's been going for 37 minutes about some of the most ridiculous stuff. Oh, shut the fuck up, Yuris McProl. Shut the fuck up, you bastard. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at all those pogies. Pogey moment. All right, let's continue. This I, has been yeah, so good. On it, it is I sad. Really it is see. sad. But, be, like I said, I'm going to law but school. But we can laugh at it. And I'm going to be a divorce lawyer. So... I really don't see the point in getting married. Like, all I'll see all day is people, just, you know, wives breaking up with them and then getting all their money taken away. I, I think that's going to kind of deter me even more from marriage if, you know, hating women hasn't already. Oh, God. 
divorce lawyer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, like the okay, he has to be memeing at this point. He's gonna be a divorce lawyer. Oh, come on. Cosmic punishment is I get to like, no one really heeded my warning, so I just get to steal money from simps. Oh, I'm only gonna represent women by if the way, I, the courts are dead. If I ever, if I found you like the most sweetest girl in the world who has never had sex, whatever, you would, you would still have the same views. Like, I'm wondering if the right. Oh, by the way, for anyone who didn't know this, including Grime Dango, just so you know, just so you know, this guy, as far as we can tell, is legit. He like unironically believes this. He made a thread, a massive high effort thread. I'm talking hundreds of posts about incel shit on Twitter. So either this guy is so devoted to the bit that it almost doesn't matter, or he's legit. That's why this is like, this is actually a wild ride. Girl can pull you out. Yeah, if, you know, I'll put her next to my pet unicorn. Then we'll have a great time together. Why, you don't think the right girl exists? No, they don't exist. I'm Every telling you, I'm in a relation. I'm, I'm, I have a fucking fiance for seven years. We've been together. Who I have? I'm don't telling. Even know how many sexual partners she said you've been together for seven years? You never asked. You, you never were a little. But, curious? yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, believe it or not. I'm believe it or not. We have an unbelievably fucking great relationship, bro. I swear. No, can, can be honest with me for like two whole seconds here, please. Okay, seriously, unironically though. Real quick, I'm going to show you something, and this is the truest thing you've ever seen. Okay, ready? Ready? Thank you, Space Concrete. Thank you so much. Ready? See this guy over here? See this dude right here? This is what every single Nazi I've ever met in my entire life looks like. I'm not kidding you. They all think they look like this guy over here, but I'm not kidding you. Every Nazi I've ever met IRL looks like this, with like two exceptions. They all look just like this. They all look like a fucking, like this Wojak. I'm not even kidding you. You think I'm kidding? I'm not fucking kidding. I'm not fucking kidding. Pretend your fiance isn't watching this. Okay, You've she's not. She's at work. About it. You've never thought about it once. I swear to God, I've never. Partner she's I have yeah, never. Yeah, Golden One is one of the like handful. And then like, but, but see, about... it's very rare. They're very rare. There's like a handful of them. But the thing is, if you look close, if you look really close at the golden one, the golden one's head still looks like that guy. His head still looks like that. His head still looks like that. His body is ripped, but his his head is tiny and looks weird. But it was. Sorry. We've been together for That's 7 insane. years. How wait, how long do you think someone should should like when I when I got with my fiance, she I know for a fact that she hadn't been with anybody for like eight months because I I wooed her for eight months, and yeah, I didn't like dig into the, her entire fucking history. Who cares? That's Look, I'm telling you, it's she not insane. A serial killer, you wouldn't have given ass. What if? What if? Oh, well, you do you think that? Me if I wait, wait one second. Or not. You ask women. Hold on you, a second. Kaluby. Is this is this a pregnant a, a pregnant mama mauled? Is this a pregnant mama mauled that got fucked by that the dad is Pompo and inside of the pregnant mama mauled is a sussy? Kaluby. What did I tell you, chat? We are at hour nine. This is the weird zone. You have entered by far the weird zone. We are so far into the weird zone, you have no fucking idea. Mistakes into miracles. There's a sus in their sussy. There's a sus in their bussy. This is su Spider-Man Elsa zone. All right, we better, fi we better finish this video. I I by the end of this, I don't even think I'm going to have like... Uh, by the end of this section, I think that my my the borders of my of my persona will have dissolved, and it's I'm just gonna be like a, an abstract gloop bob blob. My brain isn't even working anymore. We have to finish this Ask segment. General people, your employer, your other Jesus. coworkers, if they're serial. Killers. All right, calm down, calm down, everyone. Uh, no. When was I, the like, last time you asked the when was the last time you asked a real life person? If uh, they're a serial killer. 
Uh, I don't know, maybe like a few months ago. Okay, so this is not a thing that happens. No one actually asks people if they're serial killers. So well, yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's so not then, my point. okay, I was so, a joke. Yeah. I wasn't okay. Seriously asking if people were serial. I'm saying you've never. Like, you don't know shit about your fiance is what I'm saying. I'm sa- I've am i been joke. with her for seven years. You don't and think you don't I know, know shit? anything about her. You don't Why know do shit you... about her, dude. How do you know that? I know about her <laughs> upbringing. I know about how, the school she went to. I know about her friends. I know about the fashion trends she went through when she was a kid. I know about the dance lessons she took when she was a kid. What, what do you mean I don't know anything about her? Just you because I don't know. I, I yeah, don't, you know. don't know anything about her history, bro. That's her history, dog. I don't, don't know, know anything about her history. I don't know one thing about her. Everything else I know. I never say you don't know nothing about her. I went to her village. I went to the village in Italy. I went to the village in Italy where her family's from. I've met her fucking extended family. Like, what else What else do you want? Oh, shit, is she from Italy? Yeah. Oh, that's based. I love Italy. Big shout. (laughs) What? Oh, I love Italy. Based. (laughs) To my Italian. This guy's brain is soup. He's out there. Big shout out. But... Uh, no, uh, what else did I want is I Big think you should be a little bit more to curious. I think it's sad you're not more curious. Okay, so going oh. back to a lot about society. That men aren't judging women anymore like oh. that? You think that's a bad thing? Yeah, I think that's a yeah, I think that says a lot about But my G, what I'm telling you is if I'm in an amazing relationship, we make each other happy, we're fucking compatible, we're we're amazing. If anybody in chat, I have some IRL friends who knows us. We are the best couple you'll ever fucking see. We're respectful, we're nice, we're caring. Everything you can imagine in a in a great relationship, we are. So, why I mean, I know you probably think that, but like, I don't know. Trujan. So now I'm question what her intentions are with you. I'm looking out for you, bro. Listen, I'm I'm 29. I'm. T- what could be her intentions? I don't know, dude. That's what I'm thinking. It's I'm like, 29 years she, old. I'm 29. She wouldn't, she wouldn't even divulge that to you. So I'm thinking there's something up, dude. No, no. It's not that I asked and she didn't tell me. It's just that I. It wasn't something that I cared about. But yeah, but then she didn't even bring it up. Is what I'm saying. She never asked me how many girls I've been with either. She didn't. Nope. How many girls have you been with? I've been with like 10. Pretty high. Pretty high. Meh. Not really. I think a lot of people have been with way more. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> I love this image so much. <laughs> Shout out to Italy. <laughs> Shout out to my Italians. Mamma mia. <laughs> This is the mood. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> Pasta la vista. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True, <it's really> <laughs> oh no. Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> ooh, but, ooh, that's ooh, that's gross. Okay, but regardless of whether it's gross or not, do you what, what has today been? What the fuck has today been? Holy shit! Oh God! Do you see what I'm True saying? True, real God. Do you see what I'm seeing about like who cares if you're in a good relationship? If the girl is nice, if the if the relationship <sighs> dynamic is nice, it works. Like who? Why does it matter? Oh, I think that's honestly, one last trip to like, Flavor Town. <laughs> I think that's why it matters. I think I think oh, you, you need to know these things about your partner before you get into a relationship with them. I I don't. I mean, the relationship can be good or whatever. <sighs> But at the end of the day, I think that's that should shoot up major red flags if you don't even know her body count, bro. Body count? Oh yeah, they forgot. They say that they call it a body count. Oh my god, that 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 would have like how like, would these red flags major. manifest eventually? Like I'm seven years in. Don't you think I should see some cracks? Uh oh. I just trying to I, listen. I'm I'm just hey, pressing doodles. you on this because I want you to actually try to form a <laughs> yeah. I want you to form an idea to explain to me why it matters. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, 
so you guys have been together seven years. Yeah. <sighs> you you're just you're not married yet. Nope. You're just we were we got we got engaged we got engaged before here. the incel pandemic. Nazi specifically. Uh, and then we were obviously the pandemic happened. We we're just chilling for now, but we live together. So. Yeah. Okay. How long have you guys been living together? Five years. Really? Five yeah. years? Yep. It's uh, unreal, bro. Whoa. I can't recommend it enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ooh, okay. That's a, see. That's what. I, that's like. I'm, you're, you're asking about red flags. Like these are these are my red flags. Is what. Okay. I'm yeah. Saying. Let me hear. Like, let me hear your analysis. Time. Uh oh. Heem just losing patience. Go ahead. You guys have been together seven years. You're not married. You guys have any kids? No. See, ooh, that's that's weird, bro. He's a doctor, you fucking fool. When's he gonna? He's a doctor in a pandemic. When is he gonna have time for babies? What the fuck? When does a doctor and a nurse have time for babies in the middle of a pandemic? Why? That's what I'm saying. Like, this is all really sus, dude. Why? Okay, let's let's why? go through it. Let's most go through people, it. I'll explain. Are together, like, my parents have been i think they knew each thank other you Rhodes. i appreciate months, that and then they got engaged under the okay. surgical table i hope not sugar glass i should hope not that's not sanitary at all and let me ask you let me ask you okay i met my fiance when i was 22 she was uh -huh. 20 i was yeah. in undergrad she was in undergrad as well fast forward three years for us to finish undergrad and then i did a master's and now i'm getting my phd i still don't make enough money i make four dollars less than minimum wage at what point here were we supposed to have kids when neither of us make any money idk surgery theaters are some of the cleanest places i've ever had sex you know what good for you you know what i'm proud of you okay uh i think oh I yeah the previous partner shit is the most straight people shit ever only straight people give a shit. You want to know what happens when gay people find out when what get what happened? This is a gay. This is a straight relationship. How many partners have you had, honey? And then she's like, she's like, um, maybe ten. And then the 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 guy goes ooh and loses his shit. Gay people, it's like, it's like, honey, how many how many partners have you had? And then they're like four hundred and thirty seven. And then your partner goes, that's it. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work out. There you go. I think probably around the year, I think, what is it, like three You're years? like, baby, how, watch how? this. If, I don't, if we don't make money, if we don't make money and we're in school, how, why would we bring a kid into this situation? Rookie numbers. Because uh, I think I think it's just the normal thing to do. I think money aside. No, think, that's a joke, Lady Kelgana. You're fine. Yeah, well, finally, a worthy kids. opponent. Well, you're now you're contra contradicting yourself. I'm, I'm, this is a joke. But for it? those of you who don't know, this is a joke. This is a joke. Okay, a joke. That was a joke. That was a, that was a joke. Okay. I mean, I've only been with 570. You just said you're advocating for <laughs> you're advocating for not being with women, and you're saying everyone should have kids. Yeah, in a perfect in my perfect world, I think everyone should have kids. I thought your perfect world was men don't talk to women. Oh, that's like that's like fantasy though. That's never gonna happen. I'm saying if you uh, most so you have one I, perfect I, wait. It's like this whole time I was under the delusion that perfect world and you're fantasy very world are the same. I was trying to send out the week oh, on I'm a good saying, note. Okay, that is confusing. What I'm saying is okay. Let, let me get this straight. Post pandemic, get them numbers up. Laughing my fucking ass off. Power to the sluts. Let's fucking go. True. I think that the right thing to do. If you are True. going to be with a woman, is to have kids. Once but you're you once you're vaccinated, there the gates are going to open up, and it's going to be just the most ridiculous. The world is going to be overwhelmed with horny energy. Okay, it's going to be ridiculous. Try and like make a weird Frankenstein monster of a like semi traditional relationship, but like that's clearly not going to happen because men are like disgusting. Simps, <laughs> and just True, like, silent. Have, like, a bunch How of many people have you been with? Demon Mama. Well, I got a Kilimanjaro. Marital <laughs> sex and so are women. So obviously, like that's not gonna work. Okay, so you think that men should uh, that we, that people should have kids? Okay, and You're I You're doing and fine, agree, Vaughn. Chill. But I'm, <laughs> what I'm asking is, you said that seven years, being in a relationship for seven years and not having a kid or not being married is weird. I gave you the that's context. Weird. Yeah, I'm giving you the context. If I make no money, 
How how why how would I have a kid Lost if I make no lead. money? I spend fucking fifty hours studying for exams and shit. How am I gonna have a kid? I don't know. That's uh, dude. You just got figure it out, man. I think you just gotta have a kid. That's just life. Like I'm not saying like, I'm not gonna have a ever, kid. I don't think it's I'm... ever easy. Like I think I think society's made it hard. And I think that's another problem with. I can't say it because you're mad again, but a certain group of people have made it. Oh, here we go again. Here it comes. Because of the horrible economy. But like I'm saying is it's 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 weird. And, you know, I think you're kind of right, too. I think some of my traditional views come through. I'm like, oh, you got to have a kid. But I think you're also right. I think uh, maybe you don't have a kid, dude. Maybe maybe you got to get out of that. I'm good. No. Shake doesn't sound very good. No, no. I, I'm gonna. I love have his sub thing. Fiance, when I when we have a little bit better financial okay. situation, this is in the plans. We're gonna get married. And we're gonna have kids. I promise you. I guess like okay. you just yeah. you just cringed really hard at the fact that it's been seven years. So I was trying to explain to you that hey maybe sometimes there's a little bit of context. Maybe sometime yeah. Into why it is that people. The video is uh, razzle. Having... The video is a little quiet. I literally cannot boost it any. Well, I guess I could boost it more. I guess I could boost it more. Here, I'll try boosting it more. Here, I'll boost it a little more. Here. Kids or maybe different situations for different there people. We go. Like if I had a fucking job that paid me, I don't know, fucking $60,000 right now, I better? would have a kid. Is that better? So, yeah, that's all. I'm just... Okay, that's probably better. That's all. <clears throat> it's It's called family planning, right? Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, dude, yeah, that's no problem. Fair. I'll give you that. Sorry, it was. I okay. had to use the so, boosting app. Um, I had it. At yeah, max. I guess going back, circling back. If I find you the perfect girl, you're still gonna say no. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't think it's real. Uh, I, I don't think I could ever. I don't think I could ever trust someone to her who markets herself as the perfect girl. No, no, I'm, like, I'm uh, not saying someone's. Seems... No, come on, dude. Heemd said she was the perfect girl. She didn't market herself as the perfect girl. Heemd said she was the perfect girl because Heemd is being a sweetheart. This dude's such a sad sack. Mark, I'm saying that I, I give you a person that markets themselves as a normal human being. And then when you go through your criteria that she's a perfect girl for you. Would you backpedal on your position, or are you so deep in yeah. the well oh, of hate? Yeah. No, yeah, I totally backpedal. I just don't think my point was just I don't think that's real, so I don't think I'll ever have to. I, I, you're right. If you could find me the perfect girl, and then well, the, the perfect girl, and then also like me is also like the other big caveat, right? But the perfect like, girl and also you know, like me. What do you mean? Oh, you mean the perfect I mean, girl that likes you? The perfect you? girl, she's got to like me back. Sure, you know what sure. I'm saying? It doesn't matter how But you're a good look. Is, so dude, the thing that I'm like trying to... Back. Wait one sec. So what I'm trying to get to is you're a good looking guy. You're Jack. You're going to fucking law school. Like, if yeah. anybody is going to have status in life, it's you. Yeah. And I hate that. I, I don't like women who would who would go for me just because of, like, of a status. That's... Oh, my God. What about your status as a oh my oh my god no i can't like do it bad, i can't do it it's can't not it. just because of the status you know what i mean do you think that if someone's homeless that they're dude very you have an obviously shit ass personality this fucking idiot we said this at the beginning dude's ripped he's like an eight out of ten by his own description to be fair and he's a lawyer that means you have to have a radioactively bad personality just I'm telling you, it's vis his the badness of his personality is visible from fucking orbit. Very attractive mating option. I think so, actually. I think you'd be surprised. I I think a lot of girls do go for homeless guys. I True. think they like they like to. What? I think they like to like put themselves in fucked up situations like that. Okay, well, I mean, I did do the bit about Gabe the other night. I did do the Gabe bit the other night. Oh, he's homeless. I can save him. Really? <laughs> I can say it's like what you've ever heard the women walking alone at night paradox. It's like, why would you walk alone at night if you're scared of walking alone at night? No, what? he's about to say something. This guy's about to say something really fucked up. All right, everybody, prepare yourself. This is about to get really fucked. What should women do at night if they have to go somewhere? Uh, They shouldn't go anywhere at night. Simple as why are you out at night? Have you ever seen the show Handmaid's Tale? I think you'd really like it. I watched that with my ex a lot, actually, and I thought it was hilarious. That's like a cool world. You want to live in that world? 
see, I don't remember all the details, but the way that it was set up. Thank was- God. Thank God that he pulled him away. What he was going to say, I'm telling you right now, what he was about to say, what he was about to say would have been so fucking bad. I can tell you, I know exactly what the fuck that guy was going to say. Thank you, Heemed. You just saved us so much fucking cringe. Holy shit. That guy was about to make a joke about women walking at night. Uh, it was it was going to be, I'm telling you right now, it was going to be a rape joke. It was going to be a rape joke. Yeah, everybody, er, some of some of us in chat know what he was going to say. It was kind of simpy. Well, no, because isn't it like, I don't want to get too off it. Isn't it like er, only certain guys can have kids or something? I think it was cert- only certain women then, were like, fertile. Women no, only, oh, certain only certain women, women were fer- fertile, and they. And that's why them- they're enslaved, right? Yeah, and they're not yeah, allowed. Yeah. They're, women aren't allowed to read. They're not allowed read. to work. Nothing like that. Read. Yeah, that's that. I'm reading. I don't think women should read or work. Look at You're our kidding. custom read. It's so good. No, I read. Read. Times. Read. Yeah, women. Women should not be allowed to read. Nothing good can ever come from that, dude. From a woman reading. Might as well just hand her a nuclear warhead, bro. How can I talk about Why do you think men long? are so much- American Nacho? That's the demonic energy. That's the demonic energy. That's what you're seeing. What you witness right now is the demonic energy. That's how I do it. More capable than women. Hour nine and a half, baby. We're we three are. minutes away Why? from hour by, nine and a half. Because we were made by God to be more capable than women. True. What a great time for Heemed sub request to pop up. It, you should subscribe to both Dr. Heemed and myself. If you're not subbed to Demon Mama on YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash Demon Mama, you gotta. I have a whole treasure trove of videos that you haven't seen yet if you're not subscribed. And I have a million more coming out. If you thought this segment was funny, wait till you see the segment I did on Tim Pool the other day, which had the chat dying. So make sure you sub and stuff, okay? Seriously, you're, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. And also, Taheem as well. Oh, you Sugar Glass, God I'm was sorry. Like... We don't have a, it, there's a problem. We would like to we would like to implement a way for for Twitch and YouTube subscribers to transfer over to the website, but there's no infrastructure for it. We can't do it yet. Unfortunately, it's just a restriction of the website. Sorry, I know, I wish. But I mean, it still helps me. Sugar Glass, you're still helping me. We just can't transfer them from the website. There's no way for me to do it. There's no we don't have like a way to do it yet. We might in the future, but we don't right now. Hey, these two things that have the same genetic makeup in terms of like same number of chromosomes same brain development yet they're gonna what let, let me make one more capable than the other smarter than the other yeah. and how do you explain yeah. how do you women, explain such situ- wait sorry men. Yes. how do you explain situations of women accomplishing incredible things in academia way more than uh any, any it's man okay you're still helping me don't i can find you women I appreciate it. it i, I, I could fi- stole that from a man i don't think it will sugar glass um are you white trolling? neurosis looked into it already Dude, I'm serious. I bet they've stolen that from a man. Maybe though. What does that mean? I bet, I bet, I bet some man came up with it. Have you ever seen the black hole? The woman who got the first picture of the black hole. It was no. Like it was going around. It was what like- are this guy's ats? Here you go. I'm gonna give you a link right here. You want to sub to Doctor Hamed? Doctor, Doctor, um, Doctor Hamed is fucking cool as, as shit. Y'all want to make sure that you get get this out to Dr. Heemed. Go go and make sure you sub. He does good ass content. Seriously. We don't agree on everything. You know, I'm way more left than Dr. Heem is cuz Dr. Heem's a capitalist, but Heemed is a is a supremely kind individual who you can have so many interesting conversations with and he's incredibly intelligent. We just disagree on a couple of issues, but seriously, very intelligent, very good dude. And a, and, a, and a and a devoted p- progressive, even if we don't agree on on uh, economic issues. First ever photograph of a black hole, and they were like posting this girl who supposedly did it, and then it came out like a week later that actually like a guy did like ninety percent of the coding. Not that I think space is real, by the way. I think space is fake, but that was just an example. Oh, I don't know why it plays at thirty-two seconds. That's weird. So you think Whatever. that women? So much to unpack with you, bro. So you think that women? <laughs> so much to unpack. <laughs> so much to unpack with you, bro. Oh my god. Who publish papers? Who clearly are doctors that went to med school that are treating patients? Are what sucked their way to the top? 
I think most of them, yeah, I think they probably sleep with their pro- professors. Oh, come on, dude. It's, this is totally on topic, I swear to God. Can I read you a quote? Oh, here we go. Okay. Women are capable of education, but they are not made for activities which demand a universal faculty such as the most advanced sciences, philosophy, and certain forms of artistic production. Pause, 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 oh, pause. Are not yes. most of the world's nurses women? Yeah, nurses are scum. Nurses, Dude, nurses. what? Okay, hold on. I got to rant for a second. Okay. That, oh my God. Of all the most offensive things. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, listen. Nurses, nurses, no joke. The most ridiculously, like, that is one of the hardest jobs you can possibly pick on the planet. Do you know what you have to do as a nurse? Do you know what you have to deal with as a nurse? Let me tell you something, okay? Do you know what you have to deal with as a nurse? Okay? You have to, you have to deal with fucking catheters as a nurse. You have to deal with human poo as a nurse all the goddamn time. Holy shit. Nurses are, like, the hardest working people on this planet. Like, I'm not kidding you. Like, literally braver than the troops. You know that nurses have to, like, treat, like, people's fucking infected wounds and crap? Nurses based. Demon Mama and the Imps, we stand nurses. Like, hardcore. All of us. Yep. True, Sugar Glass. True. We stand nurses. You know, Landricities, I believe you, and I would I would not like to hear them because I know a lot of nasty fucking wound stories already, okay? Listen, I already know some nasty fucking stories because, uh, whoo boy. Yes, they also deal with constant sexual harassment. That is very true. They do. They deal with so much. It's unbelievable. Do I stand pharmacy technicians? Yeah, they're pretty good too. But listen, pharmacy techs, pharmacy techs, a lot of appreciation, but pharmacy techs don't got to deal with poo, Okay. Pharmacy techs never have to wipe any asses, okay? Nurses, they got to do that shit all the time. Pharmacy techs are very based, but let's be real. They don't got to do the same shit as a nurse. Still hard work, still good. But yeah, let's continue. Thing doesn't require education and scientific under. Maybe. Understanding? Nope. Nope. Nurses. You're nurses talking to a guy who works at a hospital, bro. You're going to tell okay. me that nurses don't require scientific education. Idiot. I just said they're absolute idiot. education. Did you not hear my quote? What was the second part of the quote? Hats. What was this? What was the second part of the quote? <clears throat> Forms of artistic production. No, no, no. Before Women that, before that, before that, before that. Oh. Read it again. Oh, back to the beginning. Yep. Women are capable of education, but they mm -hmm. are not made for activities which pause universal pause faculty. pause. If they're not made for this, why are the, how is it that nursing has been dominated by women? They aren't made for it, simple as. They've been, they've been able What to is do... made for it? What is made for it? Do you believe in evolution? No. Why would I believe in evolution? That's fake, bro. When oh, you look at it when monkey. When you look when you look at a uh an animal and they share so many of the same tr physical traits as us. What, what what do you think about that? Uh, well, was God supposed to make us all totally 100% individual? He's not allowed to, like, share parts. God reusing assets? God was reusing assets! Oh, shit, he got those off the Unity store. <laughs> you think God, God has to come up with something completely unique, unique uh... and original for each individual creation? This is so fucking no, wild. I think that I told you this was going to be I told you this was going right, to be a great thing to review. Listen, this morning it, it just... I watched like 5 seconds of this and then I was like and I was like I was like Hemed, can I have permission to react to this on my stream? And he was like, "Yes, you can." I was like, "Thank you, Hemed." This is much sense that it, it, he just made us similar to other animals. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ground Tank. Oh, this is fucking wild. Oh, that, that need to evolve. That's a really weird. I'm gonna idea. need to smoke. Is a it fucking weird? Fat ass. A if they fat share the same genetics, similar genes are shared. Similar cellular makeup. Similar. We can trace these things. 
Asset flipper. <laughs> yeah, guys, some more genetic makeups. What about it? Uh, Simple as. And how did how did God fucking delineate where one species differentiates into another species? Isn't it interesting how there's no hard lines? Now, you know what? Fuck it. Hold on. You I'll can be right see back. a bird that look, like you can see bird A and then you can see bird B and then you can see an entire family of species in between bird A and bird B that connects these two birds together. Like yeah, wouldn't God have drawn that, like that. that he made it like a spectrum? Yeah, I think it's cool he made it like a spectrum. Do you believe do you believe Do you believe that when parents have kids that their genes are 50 do you believe in genes i'm sorry you cut out a little bit sorry i'm here, sorry hold on, I'm pausing. okay Look. one sec hey come is my yoda. come here yoda come here yoda yoda come here come on up yoda 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 come on yay look it's yodi come on oh you think there's a snack for you you're always interested in the snacks you're never interested in me yoda you're never interested in me Alright, go on. Go on, get on out of here. Go on, go on, go back to play and go get your snack. You think I'm gonna you still think I'm giving you a snack? No. <laughs> she can't get past the box. Go ahead, go on, go on. There she goes. Look at that. Alright, look. It's time. Look, I'm joining everybody, alright? There you go. Alright, let's fucking do this. Said, sometimes you, like, sometimes my, they what? Sometimes my mic is fucked up. Chat, is my mic okay? It's it just like it was just for a second. Okay. Do you believe in genes? <laughs> it's just Thank like you, Noir Genetics. Do you believe in Thank genes? You. Uh. I like Rainier. Hey, don't I, hate on my I, Rainier. I like my Rainier. Okay, that's alcohol. Yes, it's alcohol, and I want Rainier. Okay. I think it's Rainier. I love I Rainier. Not. It's great. It's a great cheap beer. Genes. So when you see a, a father and a mother who have a child, and the child looks like a mixture of the two of them, what are your thoughts about that? No. No, think... silent. I'm going to represent Yoda in an emancipation case against you. We're going to take you for every dog treat you're worth. Oh. They mixed and they made baby. What is mixed? Mixed what? I think, I think they're, Wheat they're sperm tea. Yeah. mixed with egg. And it uh, this baby. is just a... Right. So it sounds like you do believe in genes. What, like a pale? I don't believe in genes, I don't know. Though. It's a cheap-ass beer. I sperm and egg. I don't think... What is in the sperm and egg? Oh, yeah, this is, is the sperm and egg. What is the sperm and egg? Does it... Obviously... Life, life obvi juice. Life okay, life juice. juice, sure, but obviously the sperm and the egg carry some sort of information that is representative See, of the I parent. I, I don't, I don't think they have the information. I think it's just, it's just how nature works. I think the life juice from the egg just, just makes the baby. See, life this juice. is this was the stuff. This was the stuff that made me think that he was a troll. But at the same time. Again, wait a second. Everybody says troll, but remember, this guy did an insanely high effort post on Twitter, hundreds of tweets long, ranting about all this incel shit, posting incel memes, incel arguments. So it is possible this guy's a troll, but if so, he's a devoted troll. Yeah, I'm talking over a hundred posts in this one single thread, and he's done many of them. And also remember that Nazis, remember, remember, hold on. What's the quote? What's the quote about the anti-Semite at Rousseau? No, Sa Satra. Wasn't it him? Is that the one? Is that the one I'm thinking of? The one where he says that they uh that they have the ability to play around with words. Never yeah, here we go, here we go, here's the quote. Here we go. Never believe that anti Semites are completely unaware of the absurdity of their replies. Here we go. They know what, that their remarks are frivolous, open to challenge, but they are amusing themselves, for it is their adversary who is obliged to use words responsibly, since he believes in words. The anti-Semites have the right to play. Get out of here. 
They even like to play with discourse for, by giving ridiculous, ridiculous reasons, they discredit the seriousness of their interlocutors. They delight in acting in bad faith, since they seek not to persuade by sound argument, but to intimidate and disconcert. If you press them too closely, they will abruptly s fall silent, loftily indicating by some phrase that the time for argument is past. This is so accurate, it's accurate to this day. So the thing is, these guys are, are both trolls and serious at the same time. Because all they give a shit about is playing around and, and pushing anti-Semitism. Fuck these idiots. But we're going to still laugh at him because he's a clown. And he should be a clown. He should be treated like a clown. Because, yeah, you like, I don't believe in DNA, bro. I, I, I think it's like, I think it's more, it's more simple than people make it out to be. So why would they look like maybe, their maybe parents? Call it DNA. I think you can call it DNA, but I don't okay. think it's real. I think it's just like the mom egg and dad egg come together to make it look like half of half of each yeah and that in the egg and sperm there's information that represents the parents obviously otherwise the kid wouldn't look like them uh i don't know the mom Maybe. egg and dad egg i didn't even catch that okay so if the parent if the if the sperm yes, and the egg i have do some i just listened to that last night silent i just listened to that part last night Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. ...of information that represents the parents. Yeah, mom wouldn't egg it and dad follow egg. that as time goes on, the offspring carry their information and their information, their information, and then listen. Things... I love me some daddy eggs. Listen, who, who, who daddy, daddy, egg, daddy egg lugger, lovers in chat? Any, any daddy egg lovers in chat? Evolve over time. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't think <laughs> True they evolve Dango. over time. If, it, if you were a mixture of your mom and dad and you mix with someone who was a mixture of their mom and dad and you have a kid that's a, now a mixture of all four of your mom and dads, all four mom and dads, obviously as time goes on, it's things are going to change, right? No, I don't think they're going to change. I think they're going to stay pretty much Oh, the same. is Dr. Heemed back? Welcome back. We're having a good ass time, Dr. Heemed. I see we pulled you back in. Okay. Wait, wait, you mean that when you, wait, you mean that when you, when you have a successful orgasm, you don't have to squeeze an egg out of your dick? <laughs> I'm dying. I mean, the time scale is really long. I'm not going to deny that. It takes hundreds of thousands of years. But, um. Yeah, I mean, we've only been alive for 6,000 years. How could that have taken place in that amount of time? I, you must be trolling. Time. You must be. I'm serious. You must I, be trolling. I, hand to God, I'm dead serious. I think we've only been here for 6,000 years, brother. So you think we existed think with dinosaurs? Time. I'm having a good time, Neuron Fire. Uh, I don't think dinosaurs are real. You're going to think I'm trolling, but I swear I'm serious, bro. I think they were put in the ground by Satan. I don't believe Oh, come on. Wait, if, you think the, the fossils were put in the ground by the Satan? The sad thing is, the sad thing is, I knew a lot of people who unironically believed this. The thing is... We all think he must be a troll, but I knew a lot of people. I knew a lot of people who unironically believed that. Like, unironically. Yeah, I think they are put in the ground by Satan. To, to oh, shit, hang on. One sec, one sec. Dinosaur. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I, one sec. Thank you very much. I... I.E. Curie. I hope you're having fun. Listen, I always try to have fun on Fridays, okay? Okay, one sec. Nope, I knew people who actually believe that, gay fish. Kinda. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yeah, you were saying about dinosaurs. Yeah, I don't think fossils are real. I like, think... What uh, are here's, they? Here's my Cardboard theory. I don't paper? think we can really know. But it actually does make reference to behemoths in the Bible. So I think maybe those are dinosaurs. So they definitely did live with people if they did exist because they were recorded in the Wait Bible. Wait a second. He knows his shit about the behemoths. Okay, that means – okay, that's another point. Listen, that's another point in favor of the guy being legit, by the way. If you make a reference to the behemoths, you've got to have done some studying, right? Listen, the behemoths – Okay, yeah, look, most people who aren't like hardcore Christians won't know what the behemoths are. Only people who grew up super Christian or who actually studied that shit will know what behemoths are. Okay, in the Bible, there were three behemoths mentioned, I believe. 
two in Job and one in an apocryphal version, an apocryphal chapter of of Daniel. There was Leviathan. There was Le I can't remember the second one. Oh no, I've forgotten. I'm I've forgotten the second name. Leviathan was one of them. That makes sense. The Russian word for hippo. What's the second one? Was the second one just called Behemoth? Le no, not Legion. Legion is a demon. Or a group of demons. Uh, no, Tarask is from um from D from D and D. Fuck, I can't remember the second one. It was um, it was one was called Leviathan. Was the other one Ziz? Ziz? Was it Behemoth, Leviathan, and Ziz? I can't remember. Look, it's been forever, okay? There's three mentioned in the Bible, and they're all monsters, okay? There we go. Fuck it. There Bible. you go. I but think it was I, Leviathan I mean, and Behemoth. Yeah. No, it wasn't Bofa, you fuck. I mean, maybe the Behemoths are dinosaurs. Maybe they're not. I think Satan can do, you know, a lot of different stuff to trick people, though. Interestingly enough, he's not far off. Arch Archbishop James Usher suggested that heaven and earth were created in 4004 BC. One of his aides took the calculation further and was able to announce triumphantly the earth was created on Sunday, 21, 21st, 21th. You messed that up there, God. The 21th of October, 4004 BC at exactly 9 o'clock a.m. because God liked to get work done early in the morning while he was feeling fresh. This too is incorrect by almost a quarter of an hour. I think you pulled that all out of your ass, Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for that. Ziz. Yeah. Behemoth, Ziz, and Leviathan. That's correct. It's only mentioned in Psalm 50. And there was also, wait a second, there was also, there was also a dragon. There was also a dragon mentioned in a, an apocryphal text of, da of expansion of Daniel. In the, in the DLC for Daniel, in the Catholic DLC, there was a dragon mentioned. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Yeah. It's the apocryphal version. It's all, it's in the it's in the Catholic DLC. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I'm dead serious. I'm not kidding you. There's a dragon. I'm fuck I'm not fucking making this up, chat. Everybody's making funny faces at me, but I'm dead fucking serious. They are. It's DLC. It's Catholic DLC. I don't even I'd know. have to I'd have to I'd have to get in contact with some some of my No, the base game I'm sorry. No, the I'm sorry. No, listen. Shout out to the to uh, shout out to all my Jewish shout out to all my Jewish followers. Shout out to all my Jewish followers. You guys were vanilla back when the game was good. V OG OG vanilla fucking uh Bible. That was the Jewish people. Shout out to the Jewish people in my following. I know you. I know you exist. You all got the OG the OG lore, and you know it. No one's ever taken that. The fuck. Everything else is fucking shitty ass DLC. It. You had to buy the season pass. The Catholics. The the see the the Protestants forgot. To, the the Protestants were too cheap to buy the Catholic to buy the season pass, so they only got half the updates. They only got fucking half the updates theologians out there i'm kind of new to whole this whole catholicism thing. i was gonna ask you how often do you go to church now every day yeah ever since i converted it's been like the best thing that's ever happened to me okay I, now i, I know you're trolling <laughs> now i fucking know I mean, you're trolling every day you go to church i meant every week i'm sorry i meant every week i'm sorry i meant every sunday i'm sorry i go i go sunday and then wednesday for bible study i don't okay mean, i, I believe day. him i believe he's being honest here I believe he's being honest here. Wednesday, Wednesday Bible studies are super common, super common. I, I, hey, I think sorry. he's. I think he just. I swear up. I'm not trolling. I know it sounds like I'm a troll, but I swear I'm not. Okay. Wednesday is um, incredibly common. And then let, uh, one more thing. The do you think that? Yeah, Mormonism is a fan mod. Yep, it's one. Of, it Mormonism is the most ambitious fan mod project. I saw in your memes, there's a couple of things in the thread that I want to talk about. Okay, First of all, yeah. a few of them were super contradictory. So I want you to clear up the contradiction for me. Sure, go ahead. You had memes that were like, look at this girl. Like, it was a meme about like how women like to sleep with ultra Chad fucking jacked guys. Right? Which is right, like an yeah. incel meme. Oh, and wow, then you also, you also had memes of women who were sleeping with like handicapped guys so how do you yeah, figure those yeah. two contradictions out that's not really a contradiction i think that that's of just course it is to the no uh 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 
Ziggy Richards. My old church is a is a reskin. It's a it's an epic reskin. Epidemic of women. No, it's not. If How? you have a high enough IQ, it's very obviously not a contradiction. Women will sleep with people who either one are giga chads or two will give them high status. One of these cripple guys that gives them high. Dude, what the fuck? Status. You women think that status, wealth, and and height, face, frame, power, easy. You think that a woman would put yeah. herself through the. A, through a life of taking care of a handicapped person for the status yes true Falcaia, yes 100 yes. percent. yes would you take care of yes. someone handicapped for the status no because i'm not evil like women oh my fucking oh my god taking care of handicapped people is evil if you do it for status then who cares yes. why you do it if <laughs> you fucking yours. are helping i think it's all out. about i think it's all behind the intention <laughs> Is what I believe. I think intention is the most important thing there is. So if I open a, if I help an old lady cross the street because I see a cute girl that's watching me and I want to look good, that that makes me a piece of shit. Yeah, I think it Satan, does. Satan I think is you're canonically a simp. I don't okay. care if it's a good action. I think the reason you did it is wrong. No orthodox. Nah, nah, nah. God is trans girl. I'm sorry. Orthodox. Orthodox is the is the is the game is the bandwagoner. Sorry, Orthodox is the uh, Orthodox is the game that was made by a competitor. Like uh, it's like the it's like the Battleborn to uh to the the Bible's Overwatch. It's like the shitty knockoff that's like obviously trying to bandwagon. Okay, so you'd rather not help the person, fuck them. That's a better that's a better outcome. I've played Overwatch I would say, forever. Well, it depends on who's doing what. Now, if it was me, I'd help the old lady because I don't even see the woman because all I, I see is you, a walking pile of shit. I pat you on shit. the head. Don't worry. But now, if it was, if I was you, yeah, guess what? I'm sure many Russians would love to talk with me. And guess what? They could shut the fuck up. Russians, you could. You don't like it, but it's true. You don't like it, but it's fucking true. You guys, listen. You have a lot of fans, but you're the fucking you're the fucking competitor. All right. But then yeah, I think it would be it would just be wrong because I think. Like you said, you did it because you Nah, Islam is a spiritual successor, heavily inspired, and makes lots of has lots of Easter eggs that reference the original, but overall pretty original. Girls watching you, I think that's kind of gross. How do you uh, how do you figure the fact that like it's not just giga chads as you call them? No, and... no, 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 no. Sorry, prosperity gospel, like modern modern American Christianity, is the game got a, a huge patch, and now there's a fuckload of microtransactions in it. Yes, correct, correct, silent. You got it right there. Some devs worked on the original on the design team. Uh, Islam was a remake by a different studio. Handicapped dudes who have women, like a normal average guy. <laughs> well. Scientology's the mobile game. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my oh. mind. I don't think hey, I'm no, a I'm giga chad or a handicapped person. I think you're a uh, uh, get your get your get, oh here hold on I'm gonna read this out hold on I'm gonna read Pan Nest Main has sent me a message in uh, in this language I'm gonna read it out Tubal Sibulha Ni Ye Heber Tubal Ag Connot Lubn Er Oxo N X K E U ito There you go. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I read that perfectly. Hell no. Hell no. I, I, hey, dude, I'm just trying to help you out here. No, man. no, 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 no. No, because the reason it, but... the thing yeah, is, I speak it, Russian. I speak perfect Russian. Is that I I know and I understand how fucking relationships and, and interactions work. I know I have a charming personality. And my charming personality will over will outshine all of yeah, my Yeah, yeah, you know what? You know what? Eurus McPearl, I do the best react content around because it's more react than content. Oh! Ho -ho! It's more react than content. Fuck you. Listen, I always add something whenever listen, whenever I do react content, I always add something. Always something original. Constantly, you know it. Shortcomings. I'm mm -hmm. fucking less than 6 feet tall. I have I'm balding from the back. I'm fucking Middle Eastern, which for the longest time was not I'm an attraction. Too. 
Where are, where are you from? Uh, I, well, I, I shouldn't say I'm totally Middle Eastern. I'm like a fourth Le uh, Lebanese. Okay, whatever. Anyways, I'm... Uh... <laughs> eh, whatever, fuck you, doesn't count! <laughs> I'm losing it! I'm gonna lose it! <laughs> eh, whatever! <laughs> I, I make less than minimum wage. Like there are things, so many things about me that make me not a fucking. Oh my child. god, my head hurts. And I, okay. I, I, I don't have the, like I'm I'm, I don't have there. the. I got you. I got you covered. Girl god. at the club and get laid the, that same night kind of vibe. But I know that if I have a ch nice personality and I'm nice to people and I treat them like equal human beings, that I will have an incredible amount of success. Okay. Do you want to know my honest response? Yeah. And I'm not trying to be mean here. Sure. The reason you and other average guys can still get pussy is because you're slaves and you let women walk all over you. How do you oh, know? Okay, all okay, right. Let's... Hold on a second, everybody. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I don't really have... Look, I'm like a six on the Kinsey scale, okay? I love me some femmes. But I'm just going to say, listen, I think that Heemed is above average, I think Heemed is above average in in attractiveness. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Heemed is a doctor who's also above average in attractiveness. He has a clean beard. He has he obviously has an organized stream space. Sorry. Grime Dango says Heemed's a hot piece of ass. Kinsey three here. Yes, Heemed is very attractive. Heemed look good. It, that's what I'm saying. What the fuck's this guy saying? Like, unironically, I think he, like, I don't know. Like, I think he has a lot of, like, uh, like, object, like, objectively nice features. Like, unironically. But, I'm, I mean, again, I'm, I'm not, like, super into mask folks, but, like, seriously. Like, what the fuck? This guy's not, like, he is above average, in my opinion. It's like, how do you know I let women walk all over me? Because that's the only explanation. Otherwise, like why else would they put up with you? Because All I'm a right, nice dude. person? I'm a nice person. Yeah, that's a, you're simping, bro. That's a simp thing. I'm a nice guy. So anyone, who's, like, oh, so nice like, so anyone who's not a piece of shit is a simp? I don't think you have to be a piece of shit, but I think if you even are just like like this tiny sliver is real with women, they won't find you attractive because they're used to men, you know, kissing their ass all the time. Cope. How do you, do you think that all men this are the, is, like, this uh, is, oh, the strategic beard brush. The strategic uh, that, Okay, clearly beard you and I are brush. different right now, right? Oh, I'm uh, yeah. Okay, it. so if you think that I'm you and I are different, it. why can't two women be different? Shad move. How are you generalizing all Shad women and throwing move. them into a category when clearly you and I are having a conversation right now and we're completely so different? Think, I think men are intelligent oh enough to have God. different viewpoints. And I women aren't. I think all women. Yeah, I don't if think If that they was are. the case, why would. What's that? What's that? What's that? If that was the case, why, <laughs> wouldn't, why wouldn't all women vote the same way? Uh, They almost do. No, they don't. It, there's. Yeah, it's, mm. it's pretty close, actually. You're telling me 90% of women all vote for Democrats or 90% of women all vote for Republicans? I think 90% would vote for Democrats if they didn't have husbands, yeah. I think their husbands force them to vote Republican because they haven't been lying. They're, they're Republican, Catholic, conservative husbands. Yeah. Are forcing them to vote for uh, Republicans. Yeah, I, or not like force, but you know what I mean. It's like, you know, they they sit home with their husband all day and watch what, like Fox News. It's like, you know, you're voting for Trump, right? You're voting for Biden. Like, yeah, obviously it's going to influence how they vote. It's like, well, I don't want my husband to be. My husband says that if Joe Biden gets elected, my taxes will go up and gas will be too expensive. So I'll do what he says. But otherwise, women vote Democrat because they want to kill unborn babies. What? You think? Yeah, like even that's another that's a good issue you brought up. Women yeah, don't, don't don't forget after this video remember everybody after this video you better go fucking leave a constructive comment on Heem's video Heem has been getting fucking bombarded by Nazis and you know what we do when people get bombarded by Nazis we support them okay we support them you go leave a constructive comment from the imps even agree on abortion women don't even agree on women's rights Women are, you cannot lump everybody in the fucking- The Kinsey scale is how, how fucking gay you are. What? Uh, Zoomers in chat. Zoomers in chat don't know what the Kinsey scale is. Holy shit. Holy shit, chat. You guys don't even know what the Kinsey scale is. What the fuck? 
What the fuck? Zoomers in chat. There you go. Yeah, the YouTube comment. He got raided. Heemed got raided. Yeah, so afterwards, you better you better all fucking go and you give a nice... I know the Kinsey scale is old and outdated. I know, but it's a meme. It's a meme. I know. It was not... It wasn't even bad. Anyway. In Heem's one got category. Brigaded, That's so what I'm trying sure to you, uh, like show you. I'll refresh it afterwards. I got to watch the video. See... Like, you're right, like, there's somewhat different opinions, but I think fundamentally the thing is they're remember, all the same. Remember, wait, wait, chat, remember, remember what I said? Every time you watch my show, you're going to learn something. You learn, you're going to learn one thing. Now you've learned an outdated piece of sexual history. There you go. Enjoy yourself. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. You learn one thing Just in every the same day. way, the fundamental. At least one thing. Sometimes you learn more than one thing. We're the Political same. Political edutainment, like we're, everyone. We're very different people, but I think there's certain things about us Those men are fundamental. Maybe not, because I think I'm maybe a little bit more traditionally masculine. But I think like there was, women, there was. like, like oh yeah, there isn't, there isn't on the on the Kinsey scale because the Kinsey scale was only meant to to uh, for for people who were sexual. It wasn't supposed to um, it wasn't supposed to document asexual people. It's just attractiveness, just attractiveness. It is obsolete. Yeah, it is obsolete. Women, for example, because that's like the, the women I had to interact with a lot. It's obsolete, but it's not malicious. Okay. It's obsolete, but it's not malignant. That's the that's what I should say. They'll they'll tell you it's like oh I hate women's rights too. Blah, blah, blah. But then if you bring up anything about like actually taking back any type of feminism or anything, they'll be like, well, no, actually, we what? What am I wrong about? Is it malignant? Oh, are they X? Wait, I've never seen that. Oh, I could be wrong. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the asexuals. I didn't realize there was an X. I've never seen it with the X. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Okay, listen, hour ten, hour ten. Listen, at this point, I'm just going to say, hour 10, everything I say is wrong. It's just for funny, okay? Don't, you're not learning anything else from here on out, okay? It, for the next however long I last. Oh, X was added by not Kinsey? Okay, I'm not dumb. Never mind. Re, re, I've reclaimed it. I've reclaimed it, everyone. Can't do that because You can learn again. You can learn again. Still need to be able to, you know, post their tits on Twitter. It's like... You're not trad. You're a thought. Good night, All real God. The same. You have a good night and get some rest. I guess I would like implore it's you Dr. to not look out. at life in, from such a broad lens. It's so much better and to here's treat his people video, as individuals. And I've you met can follow him from nice there. Nice women. I've met piece of shit women. I, I've met nice go, guys. Everybody, I've met piece of shit there's guys. the link to the like, video. Everyone's so unique. Everyone has such unique life experiences. Like you and I have clearly lived completely different lives and upbringings that have impacted Good night, us Val Nine. on how we I know we're gonna end soon. Don't position. worry, we're gonna there's finish so this much, and then we'll go. There's so much to it. I don't know. I guess it's weird. Have you ever? Uh, and before you fucking get too high, I know everybody's getting okay? tired. Don't worry. I'm gonna, okay. I'm to be gonna honest, question, I'm actually amazed. We still have so fucking have almost weird reaction. We still have over 400 you. viewers. Oh, yeah. We still have over 400 viewers. Ten hours into stream. Just so you know, this community is fucking booming, booming. Somebody's going to get a nice raid in tonight. You know it. Listen, you know it. You know it all. I've been working like fucking crazy. Let's keep going. What? You don't even want to hear my reaction then. No, I'm going to mute you on the stream. Have you ever, oh. have you ever uh, been with or considered experimenting with men? Good night, Windleby. Well, why not? Like, what you? Maybe, no, I'm saying if men are awesome, like, I don't know. Do you have a close guy friend? Aww. See you soon. See you soon, Sugar Glass. Okay. And ha do you have any that are like really, we'll really like? I have one friend who lives in California. I'm fucking. I don't tight have less than that him. likes. Like, my, my likes boy. are really like, good. We, I, I'm straight up like, yo, dude, my I fucking love you. You're my fucking guy. Everything. It's fucking pog as shit. Um, do you have you do you have anybody like that? Oh, you were trolling me. Oh, okay. you fucking um, shit. You so little shit. Have you Goddess ever trans girl? You little shit. You're like, like you have, wait, you have plenty of close guy friends. Yeah, plenty. I'm going to go yeah. get another rainier okay. for that. Fuck so you. maybe I, I, honestly, I'll like maybe that's what we might be coming to the root of the problem here. Is that you're you're having a conundrum between your religion and perhaps how you may be feeling? I don't know. That seems like a stretch, buddy. I really have no interest in in guys. It's just kind of 
it's funny how you guys always seem to go there too. It's like, well, you don't like women, so you must be gay. It's like, no, it's it's just I hate women. Oh, oh no, no, like I didn't glad. say you must be. I'm just saying perhaps have you like considered the like possibility? I've never considered it once, are you, are you, and are you on even if I did, I can't. I'm Catholic, like I said. Oh, you the can't benefit really be gay of um, I I understand that. So there is a the conflict there for sure. Listen, so, I'm pausing again. Fuck you. I'm pausing again. Listen, the uh, the 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 benefit of never drinking alcohol is that one beer makes me feel tipsy. I am the biggest lightweight. I'm like I'm like a I'm like a uh, like a like a cultivated lightweight. It's awesome. I fucking love it. I drink one shitty beer and I'm like, woo. But to be fair, I do have good content. So maybe it's that. Maybe it's that. But and like, I have all you. Again, I have all I guess my like, imps. That also helps. I got to say. I was just wondering if you had ever considered it. No, it's never even crossed my mind. Okay. That's all. Oh, yeah. Well, HRT unironically makes you a lightweight. Because, because remember, HRT unironically makes you a... Uh -huh. Nice try, Silent. No, but uh, but I'd be willing to get a tug on. <laughs> I know what you're going for. Anyway, um, it's a fucking joke. I know you're getting. I know you're okay. fucking. Um, I don't know. And then what other whatever. meme did you have? Oh, you know. I'm always <laughs> watching for those now. This one's bad, bro. Uh oh. Content warning for anybody in chat. Oh One shit. of your Here fucking memes. <gasps> you had Taco Bell with me, uh, with me, without me. Oh no. Oh, I've been Taco I've been Taco Bell abandoned. I've been Taco Bell abandoned by Grime Dango. Suris, welcome everybody. Welcome, Suris. Come on in. Come get comfy. We're on hour 10.7. No, sorry. 10 hours and 7 minutes and we are in the most we are watching the most ridiculous conversation I've seen in a long time. Dr. Heemed out. Uh, is, um, yeah, 10 hours, Grime Dango. 10 fucking hours. Yeah, we're having a good time, Suris. It's wild. This is a conversation with a, with a incel Nazi who has been getting more and more ridiculous along the way. It is ridiculous. All of you get comfy. We still got a while longer. We still got a bit more to go. And, uh, it's been hilarious so far. Who's a young earther? Also a young earther. Yes, a Nazi incel who's also a young earther who believes that DNA, I'm not kidding you, who believes that DNA is is a conspiracy and that um, eggs and sperm actually just contain God's life essence. He doesn't believe that space exists. And this guy is about as serious as you can get. This guy has done hundred, hundred tweet threads about his beliefs on this. Yeah, it's fucking it, it's fucked oh yeah and oh yes yes exactly thank you dr heemed um also oh by the way hold on i gotta do this i gotta do this here we go does that work there you go here you go dr heemed i'm gifting you a sub i'm gifting you a sub this is like i don't know wait is that like a, a faux pas there i don't care i'm gifting you a sub to my own channel i'm i'm too i'm too far into it to know if this is a faux pas but i'm gifting you a sub to my channel because i owe you one for this this is just god tier content dr hamed holy fucking shit yeah he advocated he unironically believed the dude unironically believes that it would be better for the human race to end than for women to continue being sluts I'm not kidding you. This has been fucking g golden. Let's continue. Let's continue. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. One of your memes was okay. Weinstein defense. Yeah, Weinstein was... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. The guy did defense for Weinstein. Ace, bro. He didn't do anything wrong, dude. He was a king. Go on. What? Well, what's your problems with Weinstein? I'm generally think. Wait, that, am I unmuted? By the way, or yeah, you're you're back. I oh, okay, okay. I generally think that raping people at the workplace is probably not a good idea. How do you, how do you rape people? Um, by by flexing your power over them. That's not rape. A hundred percent, that is. If I take a gun, once I not rape. Chill, chill. <laughs> okay. If I take a gun, and I hold it to you, and I say, okay, to a woman whatever i don't want to okay. i don't want to trigger your 
disgust of homosexuality. Mm-hmm. Let's say I have a gun and I hold it to a woman and I'm like, spread your legs. Okay. Is that not rape? That's rape. Yeah. Okay. Cause that's okay. force. I'm, ho- yeah. I'm because I'm flexing my power over her. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. not that you're flexing your power, so you're gonna fucking Good kill her you, if you don't L- do it. L- no, L- by the way, women like that too. By the okay, way, by regard- the way, this is a slut positive chat. Okay, this chat, this chat, demon mamas, the imps. We fucking, we fucking harbor the sluts. We, we protect and we defend the sluts here. Okay, you got it. That doesn't mean you could. That doesn't mean I won't bonk you if you're being horny in chat. But we still love you, even if we, even if the website doesn't allow us to have sluts explicit, it may, uh, like super slutting in chat. Okay. But we protect and love the sluts, okay? Regardless of whatever <laughs> meme you're gonna bring up. Okay, I'm just saying. Women <laughs> I know that like feeling, that, Ziggy. That I know like that feeling so uh, you know, so much. Just saying. Okay, so if you think that it's rape, for um, yeah. for uh, per- you think yeah, guess what, Devious Chilster, me too. Oh shit! Person to hold a gun up to someone oh! and say Sp- spread your legs, which thank God you at least agree with that. How yeah. is that different from what? Weinstein did. Eurus McProl. Uh, those women... How is this stream has been amazing? How is this real? Love you all, imps. Much love to you. Thank you very much for the gifted two tier one subs. This stream is real. It is brought to you by the by the 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 the, the what's the right word here? Uh, by the delirious energy, the delirious hell energy of Demon Mama. Could have just walked away. Easy. You At don't the have threat- to be a movie star. You don't have to be a movie star. Just if you have, away. if you have spent, I, I don't chill, chill, chill. I don't want to be a movie star. Okay, yeah. you also haven't spent decades of or two decades or ten years, fifteen years of your life trying to get into the industry. True. You don't he, think that if okay. someone has you, it, like look at you with I mean, law school. I, I spent my entire life trying to become a lawyer, and if someone okay. told me, okay, okay, you know, Doc, you got to suck my dick, or you're not being a lawyer, I'd be okay. I'm not being a lawyer. Fuck you. Okay, Dude. so obviously you're in a position where. There is no other fucking power. Like you, it, it's hard for you to understand that you're a man. Bazinga, bazinga. It's the same reason why women oh, feel. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the men same. Are more oppressed than women will ever be. It's the same reason why women are afraid to walk, uh, at nighttime in the dark. We, we they you and I, be afraid you to walk and. Night. Okay, exactly. They're not Val, Val shit. nine thou. Thank you so much, Val nine thousand. Thank you so much. We will protect them. With those five tier one subs, thank you so very much. They're not afraid of shit. They okay. like walking home alone at night, and I'll tell you why, because they like Whoa, it. Whoa, no, he's about to do it. He's coming back. He's going to drop it. Hold on a second. He's about to fucking drop it, warning everyone he's about to make a bad joke. They want it to happen to them every single I told you. I fucking called it. He just said he, ah. Oh. One of them. They like it. I warned you. I called this an hour ago. Okay, I, I, I really don't know what to say. You're saying that they should be afraid because obviously you think that they're less empowered than men. Are. I don't Thanks think they're by. afraid enough of walking home alone. Regardless of the Jesus level to which you Christ. think they are afraid enough or not enough, you think they should be afraid when they walk because they're not as strong as men. Yeah, I think so. I okay. By the way, sorry. I know I'm doing the pause Andy bullshit, but fuck you. It's our, it's our, it's our ten and fifteen minutes. Real quick, I just got to do a couple quick compliments. This shit, nice touch. Real nice touch, Dr. Heemed. One small complaint about this, you got to... There's something with the edges here that's a little pixely, but I fucking love this. Your backdrop color, incredible. Your fucking audio quality, incredible. Your production quality, Dr. Heemed, is goddamn good, and I'm here for it. I'm fucking here for it. I can respect that so much. Hi... And also, excellent editing. Excellent editing. There you go. Should be afraid. Okay, cool, cool. Now, the next step is, if there should be afraid to do it in the dark alley at night, why would it be mm-hmm. different in a situation with Weinstein where they're feeling pressured, they don't know what the fuck he's going to do, he's a much too. more powerful True. guy, he's True. a man, and there are women. So, obviously, the dynamic is different than you. Ha- this happening to you at your loss. Production school. quality plus plus. I love it. Dude, I, I, I appreciate totally that a lot. What I was saying there. My point is, out is of that focus, Buzz Lightyear is like my new it. best friend. True. This isn't, you're, you're making a really different point. I don't want to. I'm not talking <laughs> about that. I'm talking about whether or not you I think it's the same thing as the dark alley. It's the same thing as the movie industry. They liked it. What? If they didn't want to do it, they would have walked Dude. away. Oh no! I guess I'm being forced against my will to do this thing. I, oh no! I guess oh, what I'm shit. trying to get you to understand. Oh shit! Thank you. 
Thank you. I love you. I won't make you do anything. I won't make you say anything. I'm sorry. Look, look. I just got brought scrambled eggs and toast. What a what a treat. What a blessing. Gynotype MVP. Gynotype fucking MVP. I did blow up at no comment chick and I'd do it again if it wouldn't be d detrimental. Go ahead and rewind and you can watch me blow up at no comment chick, okay? And that it's not very different from the Where did those eggs come from? They're the dad eggs. They're the dad eggs. Yeah, you know where they came from. We squeezed them out of a hose. Gun situation. It, it's completely different. It's it's so different. It's actually shocking how you don't understand how a gun is different than saying the word no. Okay, let me ask uh, another one. Not gun. Let's say um, it was food. Let's say you're uh, want, there's very little food available. Okay, and I have some food, and and a woman. I pick. I see a woman on the side. Dr. Heem, that's so amazing. Can I tell you a counter thing? Dr. Heem says Buzz Lightyear was the first toy my parents got me when I moved to Canada at age seven. Wholesome as fuck. We never had them in Iran. Dr. Heem, that is fucking amazing. And can I tell you another um, cool story? When I was little, this was before my dad became a businessman. My dad saved up some money. And he really liked the idea of Pixar. And so he invested in Pixar. And it was this was back in like the 90s when like if you were an investor, you would get all kinds of cool stuff for being an investor. So my dad bought some stock in Pixar and they sent him a Buzz Lightyear poster and a one of a kind silver Buzz Lightyear toy. And that was the first Buzz Lightyear toy I had. It was a... Uh, just it was a Buzz Lightyear toy, just like from the movie that my dad got. This was before he d became a businessman. This was like before all the shit happened and whatever. The silver one, yeah, the silver one, the fucking silver one, and it had buttons and everything, and you had little decals you had to stick on it. We're we're Buzz Lightyear buddies. Yeah, the silver one. My, I think my mom still has it somewhere. I think they ended up making them available to everyone, but at the time you could only get them if you were like connected to somebody. It was super cool. That's so fucking cool, Dr. Heemed. That's so awesome. That's the one. This is the one. This is the fucking one. Look, look everybody. This is the fucking one. Yeah. This is just like the one I had. I think the color's a little different though. Super cool. Super cool shit. I don't know. Maybe they mass produced them at one point, but all I know is my dad got one, which is super cool. That's awesome. Out of the road, starving, fucking really hungry. And I tell her, I'll give you the food that's so if you fuck me. Yeah, see? We're, okay. we're Buzz Lightyear buddies. That's, okay? that's not rape? Buzz yeah. Lightyear buddies. I think that's fine. I, I think if she agrees for the food, then yeah, you should. <laughs> simple as. You're not understanding how I have a power dynamic here, where I have, where I control, hold the cards. Coconut Island. Every everything's ever. There's always going to be a power dynamic. Not, no, not always. What, not always. Oh, no. Yes, no. yes, always. Oh, no, no, yes, no. always. Wait, like, you're Name about... one relationship where there isn't a power dynamic. There's Me always, and my... There's always going to be someone with, with slightly more power than the other. Not if they're not That's working not true. together. That's not true. Oh, I can't go not to that one for some reason. I can't go to that link. Silent. Let's say you're a lawyer. Okay. Okay. Still you meet a weird. woman who's a doctor. That's so weird. Okay. Your power busted. dynamics are awash here. That you guys don't work in the same industry. No. It doesn't apply. No, but if you're a lawyer no, and you meet a paralegal that works in your firm, then you have a power dynamic at play here. Nope. There's still a power dynamic with the doctor. Go on. How could there not be? There's a power dynamic in every Hell single yeah, relationship. Hell yeah, biceps and bikinis. I'm talking about oh, a yeah, work power one. dynamic. I never got one never, of the original okay, ones until I'm later. Just in life, in Bear general back, life, go there's the always going to be a back. power dynamic. And keep enjoying Dr. Okay, I'm talking concept, about a work go. power dynamic. Obviously, different relationships have different dynamics. But well, I'm how saying... Is a, how is it a work power dynamic if you're picking up a homeless girl with food? That's not work. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about flexing my power. That's all. Well, that's what I'm saying. You flex your power. It's a power yeah. dynamic. It doesn't always have to be at work. Okay, but you're I'm saying... You're saying it always has to be at work. You, didn't even, agree, you didn't even agree to my person on the side of the road example. Yeah, I didn't. I I don't think it was rape. I think I think they agreed to it. 
you think that that person who's hungry has an option here? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think people have starved to death before keeping their beliefs. Yeah, I don't think I think people can rise above hunger. People desires. can rise above hunger. Yeah, people have starved to death for their beliefs. People have been killed for their beliefs for centuries. You don't have to get like trade in every single moral you've ever had just because you're you're hungry. Must be nice. To live. Must, be ni must be nice. Must be. I'd rather die than do some things. No, certain you wouldn't. Things I would rather die. I yeah, guarantee. I die I, I fucking things. guarantee you. I guarantee you that if you were on the side of the road hungry and a dude pulled up and said "suck my dick," you would hundred percent do it. I think you would. I think you're projecting onto me. I, I would. Yeah, because I like. Would. I would. Yeah, I like that's to. That's what I'm saying. You would. I'm saying you would. You're weaker than me. You you're gonna. Have the you're same gonna call. Mentality I do. Chill. You're gonna call survival being weak. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is weak. If you would trade your morals for just to live, I think that makes you a weak person. I think some things go above death. I think there's certain things that you shouldn't trade no matter what, and those are your principles. And that's on God. Okay. I guess survival of the fittest. I didn't realize survival of the fittest was about uh, voluntarily oh, no, losing your life because you're too proud to do some shit. Yeah, doesn't seem like doesn't seem like a very pride. doesn't seem like a very uh I, I know you don't believe in oh, evolution. Oh no, I have to rewind it. But it doesn't sound like Could a I very uh -oh, what did I miss? Okay. I guess survival of the fittest. I didn't realize survival of the fittest I have to. was about uh survival. I, I like I would yeah, I like that's to what I'm saying you add just because you're you're hungry. You're talking Name about... one relationship where there isn't a power dynamic. Me and my, okay, always right, right, I remember this now. With slightly more power than the other. Not if they're not working together. Not if they're not working together. What? Let's say you're a lawyer, okay? Okay. You meet a woman who's a doctor. Okay. Your power dynamics are a wash here. That you guys don't work True. in the same industry. No. It doesn't apply. No, but true. if you're a lawyer no, and you meet a paralegal that works in your firm, then True. you have a power dynamic at play here. Nope, there's still a power dynamic with the doctor. Go on. How could there not be? There's a power dynamic in every single relationship. I'm talking about a work power dynamic. I never. Okay, I'm saying just in life, in general life. Good night, there's Babylon. Always be Thanks for being dynamic. here. I hope you had fun. Okay, but I'm talking about a work power dynamic. Obviously, different relationships have different dynamics. But well, I'm how saying, is it a, how is it a work power dynamic if you're picking up a homeless girl with food? That's not work. I'm 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 talking about what? Flex oh God, this guy's dumb. Okay, I'm just gonna take a second real quick and just say, isn't it awesome to know that you aren't as stupid as this fucking viewer? Or is this fucking caller? Isn't it, isn't it relieving to know that you aren't as fucking stupid as incel Nazis? Can you imagine what a horrible existence it must be to be that fucking stupid? Sing my power. That's all. Well, that's what I'm saying. You flex your power. It's a power yeah. dynamic. It doesn't always have to be at work. Okay, but You're I'm saying, saying it always has to be at work. You I'm didn't even agree. Doesn't. You didn't even agree to my person on the side of the road ex example. Yeah, I didn't. I I don't think it was rape. I think what? I think they agreed to it. You think that that person who's hungry has an option here? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think people have starved to death before keeping their beliefs. Yeah, I don't think I think people come can rise on, above dude. That's coercion. Hunger? People desires. can rise above hunger. Yeah, people have starved to death for their beliefs. People have been killed for their beliefs for centuries. You don't have to get like trade in every single moral you've ever had just because you're you're hungry. To die? Must be nice. To I'd rather die. Must be nice. Must be nice. I'd rather die than do something. Hold on a second. This motherfucker in this conversation admitted to fucking within the last year. He committed a a, a literal mortal sin within the last one year, and this guy is saying that you should die in the name of not being a slut. This guy's a fucking idiot. There's no, you wouldn't. Things I would rather die. I yeah, guarantee. I die I, I fucking things. guarantee you. I guarantee you that if you were on the side of the road hungry and a dude pulled up and said "suck my dick," you would hundred percent do it. Mm -hmm. I yes, think you, you would. That dude would be deep throating that guy's cock faster than you can fucking say. 
demon mama. He'd be fucking deep throating that cock. He'd have it. It'd be all the way fucking through. It'd be going in his mouth and coming out his fucking asshole. And you know it. You fucking know it. Would I think you're projecting onto me? I, I would, yeah, because I like. Weak. I would. Yeah, I like that's to. That's I'm saying. You would. <laughs> I'm saying you would. You're weaker than me. You you're don't gonna, have the you're same gonna call reality. I do. Chill. You're gonna call survival. Oh, nobody buys that shit, dude. You were just fucking and sucking less than a year ago. What the fuck are you talking about? Being weak. What do you yeah. mean you're weak? Yeah, you just I think fucked it is a year weak. ago. If you, you would idiot. trade your morals for just to live. I think that makes you a weak person. I think some things go above death. I think there's certain things that you shouldn't trade, no matter what, and those are your principles. And that's on God. Okay. I guess survival of the fittest. I didn't realize survival of the fittest was yeah, about... Yeah, he wasn't even starving. On God. On God. But, uh, voluntarily losing your life because you're too proud to do some shit. This reminds me of some of my family. Yeah, doesn't seem like, doesn't seem like a very, pride. doesn't seem like a very, uh, I, I know you don't believe in evolution. This reminds me of my sibling. But it doesn't sound like a very effective way to, to, uh... To continue the, the, your species Christ. or whatever dominance thing you think that if one person says, I, "I'm too proud to 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 survive," am I? This is what you're telling wanna, me. You're telling me you're too proud. I don't want to continue shit. I don't want to continue shit if I don't have morals. Why would I? Why would I want to continue anything if I'm already Sad a loser existence. dying Death on cult. the side of the road? Death cult shit. What, what am I going to contribute at that point? On okay. God. How are you going to – oh, I lived one Jesus more day. Now I'm, Christ. I, I lived one more day thanks to the pity of some random – You're very welcome, Chance on Air. I hope oh, you oh, had I'm a gonna good be able time. To totally pass on my jeans. I hope I made it slightly That's less shitty. The, oh, hello? I'm sorry. You're very, very welcome, Chance on Air. Hope I made your shift slightly less shitty. You have no idea, by the way, Chad, you have no idea how much it means to me to hear that people watch so, – to hear that people watch my stream at work. Do you know how validating is – how validating it is for a leftist to hear – that working people listen to my show to alleviate their pain at their shitty jobs. That is life goals. I have achieved everything. Want me to hit you with a doo-doo fart? Here you go. Doo-doo fart. There you go. You cut out. Yeah, you cut out a little oh, bit. Try again. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I forgot where I was at. But uh, I was. That's for if, the imps. If, if the difference between you passing on your genes in your head is. I, like living one more like eating one more piece of food then i don't think your genes are going to get passed on bro i think it's too late i think Excuse the train's already idiot. left the station you're not jeans not jeans not jeans baby juice you said baby juice yeah no jeans you don't believe in jeans yeah baby juice yeah yeah i don't i don't, I don't really believe in jeans the way you oh do. my god kaizen kamikaze literally if i did i would love to do an i like a like a collab stream on vosh's with a drinking game where we have to listen to some like atrocious thing and drink. Oh my God, that would be so much fun. You know, it would be, oh my God, it would be so good if we got vermin in on it, if we got Vosh in on it, if we got like denims, Xan. Holy shit, that would be the stupidest shit ever. That would be the fucking Merrick. Well, Merrick doesn't drink though. Merrick doesn't drink. We can't do that. Merrick doesn't drink. That would be rude. Merrick could be the designated driver, okay? <laughs> Dylan doesn't drink either. Dylan and Merrick don't drink. I'll do a weed stream at some point, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Pink Karen um, Monster Energy. <laughs> True. Okay. True I don't know what else. This has been a How long have we been going for? What time is it? It's an hour and a half. It is. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Let really me ask you guy. one last question before I let you go, okay? At some point, yeah, Lady Coco. Okay, okay. Do you enjoy point, life? Yeah. I know you want the weed. Oh, I love it. There. Every day, dude. Are you looking forward to the rest of your life? Every day, with, bro. With this mentality? Yeah, like, it's you're, only, if it's you, if only you, if going you, up. If you're, if you're projecting to live a life of just being alone, basically, right? That's amazing. Yeah, basically. Okay, and you're cool with that? I'm fine with it because I'm not a slave like everybody else. I'm God. Well, that's on God. I mean, you would be a slave to. Be <laughs> I love leader. it, God is trans girl. Oh, yo, chill. I'm a slave, I'm well, a slave to God, bro. One sec. That's God. It. One sec. One sec. One sec. I'm a slave. Yo, to holy God. shit! Thank you so much for fucking ten gifted subs, are you, shares. Are you, are you on the him team? Whoa, holy that's shit! Pop. Bro, your shit is whack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just gonna turn this off. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. I'm not like the other Nazis. I'm different. Okay, we're back.
Okay, so okay, cool. as long as you enjoy your life, True, I guess. Grindango. I don't know what to say. You should, okay. um, yeah, you should maybe. I don't know. I hope that you can think about some of the things we've discussed here today. I'm sure I haven't changed your mind on anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope you think about some of this stuff too, man. I mean, maybe think about asking your fiance what's really going on there. Ask your fiance, Dr. Heem, make sure you ask your fiance about how her life juice is feeling. Okay, I let's mean, say I ask my fiance, and she says, yeah. I slept with 10 guys before I met you. She says she slept with 10 guys? Just let's say. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh. What should I do? Should I throw away my whole life? Don't. Th it's not your whole... That's your thing, bro. This, these girls aren't your whole life, dog. You he's built... He's built a relationship for seven years that he's happy in. That's not... That's not codependent. Oh, my God. These, these fucking incel types are so motherfucking stupid. They're actually... They're actually pathetically sad. Like, they don't... They think that sex outweighs, like, building things together for seven years. Actual idiots. Actual idiots. That your whole life These we have girls, a house bro. together we have a car together we have memories together we have fucking we've cried we've fucking laughed we've had tons of experiences we've traveled i should just throw that all chad this is what a chad sounds like right here this right here is what a chad sounds like socially emotionally conscientious chad chad shit Th this incel wishes he had this Away, he's coping. Because she slept with ten guys. Come on. I think you're gonna have to throw it all on away. On dad, on dad. Ten guys. The divorce rate for girls who slept with ten guys is through the roof, brother. You basically, I think, I think the chance of marriage after ten guys is like twenty percent. Did I talk about that yet? That the more sexual partners your girl's been with, the higher your chance of divorce. I don't know if this is true or not, but it's it's a hundred percent after the first sexual partner it drops to 60 percent i mean are we are you taking in, are you taking into consideration people like the vast like massive massive amount of people that have arranged marriages i don't know i it's just the because i uh -oh. obviously uh oh whitey moment oh we got a fucking we got a fucking uh oh we got a whitey moment we got a dude who doesn't think outside of america uh oh whitey moment ha <laughs> white is going to impact it right arranged marriage if it's an arranged marriage then it's probably going to have zero sexual partners exactly yeah so obviously so that, that means this, the relationship's going to be success i think arranged marriages are epic by the way what okay I so think, why don't you tell your why don't you tell your mom and why don't you tell your mom and dad to find you a nice girl uh i don't want i just told you i don't True. really want to why don't you just ask ask your mom mommy find me a girlfriend mommy <laughs> You call this bluff? A nice girl. This is I don't so think they good. really exist. I you love just said this. arranged marriages this clearly is really funny. work and can function. Oh, what's this? Yeah. I, I just think in the country I'm in right now, they're not really like a thing. There's not really uh -oh. arranged marriages in the uh -oh. US. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We, we got a fact check from, from the chief, the grand vizier, silent, my researcher, coming in clutch. University study. Women who've had nine premarital sex partners have lower divorce rates than women with two. Divorce is less likely when a woman has sex with three to nine men before wedding. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Research moment. Oh. On God, on fucking God, on God, baby. Yes, is there? Oh, I, I'm I'm, yeah, there are still like amongst communities that are into that, like um, Pakistani I mean, communities, my... Indian communities. But I'm sure if you told your mom, hey, mom, do you know any of your friends have a nice girl? Like, I'm sure she can find you or at least like, I, like, I don't know. I'm sure at some point your parents are going to start asking you like, hey, are you going to settle down? Like, oh, they already have. That's what I was. They already kind of like know my beliefs. Like I told you, they're like, well, "What? If, are you it's ever me, like lonely?" It's the meme I'm hour. Like, no, I just think about like all the people getting divorced, and I I feel better. Magically. What about all the people who are happy? <laughs> True, my I don't think girl. they're even really happy. I think a lot of people just stay together. Out we of might spite. be able to get an on God. <laughs> You're talking Maybe. to the wrong dude, my guy. If I showed you the fucking pictures of the amazing times I've had with my fiance, I think you. I don't know. He would, he would, he would cry. He would have a sad come. He would have a sad come. That's the truth. The sad truth is that people like this are just deeply unhappy. It's true. It's just uh, true. You're just wrong, I guess. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong.
Wrong, brother. I'm praying for you. NTR? But... It's not even NTR, Lady Kelgana, because the NTR people are enjoying it as a kink. It's not even NTR shit, because at least those people are enjoying, like, people who are into that are enjoying that as a kink. They have a happy life, because they recognize their kink. This is even worse. But like, oh, dude, I, I'm i praying for you, man. I hope it works out, dude. Seriously. How many, I mean sorry, let me ask you, how many is okay? I, I, I believe you. I believe you, Lady Kelgana. And guess what? No kink shame, Marino, okay? Listen, it's, it's difficult for people to, listen, you'll understand in time, Polare. You'll understand. No kink shame. Bonk, but no kink shame, okay? Okay. Let's say I said 10 and you've lost your mind. If I said five, what about five? I'd still be like, Ugh. I'd still be like, Ugh, that's a little high, buddy. What about three? Uh, three, I'd still, mm, see, I wouldn't do it, but I know most guys, they're, they're going to take what they can get. You know what I'm saying? What about one? Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> slack on one. I'll, okay. I'll give people one. Okay. Listen, so here's hands down. Silent is the best researcher I've ever worked with. Okay. There you have it. I'll give people, I'll give people their first mistake. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send out a, an official casting call for anybody who wants to date this guy. You just have to have slept with less than, or with one or less persons. Okay. There I'm, you go. I'm not there, interested. There's your yeah. criteria. I'll have them. I'll send them your way. I'm sure there's going to be tons of them. Oh great! I can't wait. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I think you're. I'm sure that I'm gonna need to invest in a stick, brother, because they're gonna be banging at my door. That's for sure. What is the stick for? To beat women away. You ever heard that expression? You have to beat women away with a stick. No, I've never heard that. No, I've maybe never... it's a maybe it's a my area thing. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a your community thing. All right, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, All right. Well, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you having me, man. This was this was a blast. I uh, I I'm very excited to see the reaction. nuts. Don't you nuts? That's it. I'm bonking you nuts. This is for you. You're getting even more bonks than Lady Kelgana did. No kink shamerino. Action. I'm gonna go through and read the chat probably after this. Good luck. It wasn't very kind to you. What? Yeah, Nuts is over here like, oh my god. Nuts is like, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. People are into NTR as he goes and logs into balloonfuckers.com. And Nuts is like, I'm very normal. I'm going to go watch balloonfuckers.com. Thank god I'm not one of those NTR folks. Oh, I'm uh, sure it wasn't. <laughs> all right, bro. Listen, um, take care. Brush your hair. Tell your mom that I don't think she's a whore. And uh, good luck, man. Maybe you can pull yourself out oh, of this place. Wait a minute. Well, Heem is just, Heem just, oh my God. Heem just going to post cuck. Heem just going to post cuck this guy's mom. And while you're in, good luck. Nuts, it's, it's, it's within the context. Nuts, you don't understand. Oh my God. Oh, how do I, why do I have to do this? Do you understand the concept of fiction, you idiots? Holy shit! You people are gonna drive me insane tonight! You've driven me to drink! It's sad, man. It's sad. No, it's not. It's not death. It's not death. Oh my God, you people. Oh my God. Okay, all right, look, listen. Watch what I'm doing, everyone. Do you see what I'm doing here? Listen, I've been streaming for fucking 10 and a half hours for you all. And what I'm gonna do right now is go, oh my God, this was such a fucking wild ride. No, wait, I can't put the F word in there. This was such a freaking good time. Thank you so much for letting me react to this holy moly this was awesome and hilarious there we go dm now you can all do really really cool shit you if you want to you can go do just like this okay that was fucking amazingly fun i'm sorry for keeping you up but oh my god did i have a good time okay let's see how much the like dislike ratio has changed imps that's right 
We win against the Nazis again. The ratio, we have unfucked the ratio. We have won against the goddamn motherfucking Nazis once again. The imps are officially more powerful. Isn't that fucking awesome? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to play that. You know it. Not that one. No, that's doo doo fart. Fuck. That's doo doo fart. That's the wrong one. It's the wrong fucking. It's this one. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you Demon Mom. Hellfire can't scorch me. True, imps, true. Okay.